All right, how much dead air did I get? I hit a lot. A real retrospective, like a couple of seconds, okay. All right. All right, hello. Oh, I gotta fix the green screen. Dudes. What what a trip that was. How was the trip? Dude, that was a very crazy trip. <laughs> Do you remember how to play KSV? Yeah, 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 yeah. How awesome is being home though? Dude, o Odin, I had all I had the Cornet, the Mustang, and the two trucks. 
uh, at my parents' house this afternoon, and I sat there and I'm like, dude, look at my stable. Uh, so my main question is, I've tried a road trip stream, and I had crap signal in numerous spots between Miami and Atlanta. How did you mitigate poor cell signal? A very expensive cell booster. All right. How good did your bed feel? It's, it was one of those times where you fall onto the bed. Yeah. Welcome home. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You must feel like Jeb over there when they ask how the trip went. Dude, it is. It is we were gone for two weeks. It didn't st like, man. It seems like we flew out to California like three months ago. So, I guess. Uh, yeah, we got a little bit of route. What was that? Oh, glad you're back. Welcome back. Oh, I haven't changed. I haven't changed the alerts yet. We're still running the route 154 in our alerts. I'm like, what the heck was that? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's. I was like, what? Why? Why? Alberta, Canada trip when? Oh, I don't know. Dude, it's been... Hey! <laughs> Hokey and Geese gifted out a bunch of subs. Bill gifted out a bunch of subs. But, but, what just... What's going on? I don't understand. Da -da -da. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dude, I don't even... Okay. You should keep the notifications for a bit. The bleeps, the sleeps, and the gle leave the notifications until next week. Honk, yonk, yonk, kitty, honk, yonk. I'm doing it for the yonks. Zero with the 52 in there. Can Americans go to Canada? Yeah, you can. You got to prove a COVID test and stuff, though. Because that's, you know, still a thing. Dude, it has been... Yeah, it's been crazy. I'll here let me uh let me open up the map and I'll show you like it's this feels weird feels weird being back ahoy some cool space news drop because some cool news just dropped for space news later today according to recent FCC filings Astra is targeting a launch of their rocket 3 launch vehicle from Kennedy Space Center's complex 48 Ooh. well it's good that somebody's using that thing I was sleeping in your bed again. Weird, man. Dude, I have... Okay, I was just talking with Brimo about this. It feels bizarre being home. Does that make sense? Hey, Denny. Astra actually can launch her own parking lot, Thomas. Unlike, unlike other things, they can actually do that. Of course, Forge, thank you. It's called Wanderlust. Yeah. Something feels very weird about being home today. It, like, it, <sighs> happy to see you again. Thanks, Liam. Welcome home from the UK and the Mad Ford crew. Hey, Hyper. Thanks, man. Cam, what's going on, dude? It just—it feels weird being home. Wanderlust is what it's called. I usually don't get this. I usually just get home and I'm like, ah, oh, that was a nice trip. That was a nuts, that was a nutso trip. Was the house still in one piece after being away? Yeah, yeah. I, I, grapes, what I always do is I always clean. I always clean right before I go to vacation, like really clean everything. So you come back and everything's nice and clean. Finally, normal streams. <laughs> Hop in the truck and head for the Gulf Coast. Yep, yep. Dude, it, Perkele, you made it. I did make it. We, dude, that thing, that thing is a champion. I thought I was, dude, I thought I, I came up with a good name. Prima did a great job interacting with chat while you were driving. Right on. Hey, bloke, 40 month resub. Thank you. Yeah, having a wheel fall off. Like, so much happened. Zonic, it's crazy. Dude, like, bro, we, we started he here. We started here in Compton. Actually, well, technically, that truck... We started the streams right there in that parking lot, right there. And in that spot. Any wasps? No. No, you're the champion. Yeah, thanks. And then we we drove 
up here into the Inland Empire through Cajon Pass. Back over here through Victorville. And then at some point the highway went over here. <laughs> and then long story, like I won't trace the entire route, but if you just look at the distance here, in a straight line, it's 2,600 miles. Is Brimo at home? Yep, yep. Did the wheel row down the road? Yeah, a little bit. Nice, Nero. There you go. Sounded like freedom. That's right. We get a live drive down the Cape when Artemis 1 launches. Yeah, I'm th I think so. See Discord. Okay. Oh, thank you, drummer. Here, let me... Uh, I was wondering when that would happen. Dude. Holy crap. Oh my goodness. Remove the height and width from the title. Oh. Jeez. <coughs> Which state was your favorite? Uh, dude, I like Arizona. New Las Vegas is amazing. California is all, I mean, come on, it's California. So do, do we have, sorry, dude, I, I have to get back, I have to get used to reading chat again. You mad lad, I figured you'd be dead asleep. I actually woke up at nine this morning. I cleaned out the truck uh, and I started looking for parts. Uh, gas, probably about a thousand bucks, Thomas. It's probably about a thousand. The truck doesn't get very good gas mileage, man. <laughs> Did the wheel roll down past the right or left side? It's the left tire, so left side, RB. Uh, I don't know, man. It, it looks like an EKG, yeah. Dude, I don't... Yeah, I don't know. So anything fall off on the trip that you need to replace now other than the wheel? The wheel's replaced, Vulcan. I, that's all fixed. I, we fixed that in Detroit. Still have some Route 154 merch left. The Route 154 stuff will run for another week, and then I'll, then I'll pull it, and then we'll do new things. I hope your EKG doesn't look like that. Hey, Rocket Guy. The New Mexico crater broke a lot of things. Yeah, the freaking crater right there. Dude, that, that messed up a lot of things. Oh, there is one other thing. I have the absolute gnarliest trucker trucker arm. Look at that. It is like defined. Dude, look. <laughs> Dude, I have I have the gnarliest trucker tan. <laughs> look at that. Man. It's so awesome. It's so funny. <laughs> it looks like I dipped my hand in mud. <laughs> and look, it's not even on the back side. It's only on one side. It's so stupid. YG! <laughs> there he is. 24 month resub. Now that's a flex, yep. I think it's I think it's on both arms too. Oh yeah it is. <laughs> yeah, right? Grilani get it nice and crisp. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's the distance traveled. It's a we ended up going about 4,000 miles. The trip on the truck is reading like I think it's 3200 and we did go this way and back, so we went from the S to the V and then back and then did this. So, yeah, it it, it comes out to about 4,000. The trip from Flagstaff from here all the way to Massachusetts, uh, what, like I said, it was about 3,200 is what it read. As a New Mexican, I apologize for the harm that our road did to the F-250. Dude, you guys got some sketchy roads over there. But Santa Fe was cool. I liked Santa Fe. I liked Arizona, to be honest. It, it, but 
See, like, here's the thing. I like Nevada and Arizona because I've never been there before. I've never been to those states. Uh, Oklahoma was fine. It was cool. It sucks that my wheel exploded there, but hey, whatever. Texas, always, always a pleasure. Missouri, I drove through. Same with Illinois, so I didn't really get to... This leg of the trip, I basically busted out at night off stream. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> you need to drive on the roads in Belgium. Yep, yep. Bit of a curveball question. But you named the garage you named the garage in MC Flagstaff. Was that a hint? I did. I yeah, yeah, maybe. Maybe that was a hit. That sounds like something I would do. How many license plates did we get? I think the ones we missed were North Dakota, South Dakota. We didn't get a Connecticut plate, which is very annoying. Uh we didn't get a West Virginia. Didn't get Delaware. We didn't get North or South Carolina. Yeah, look at our DM. Wait, what? Uh, oh, okay. The Hawaii plate, though. Yeah, you ain't kidding. We did get West Virginia, though. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can't believe how far north New York is. Yeah. I don't think we did not get Wyoming. We did get Montana. We did not get Washington. We got a good amount of them, guys. We got a pretty damn good amount, considering we didn't get even close to some of these. And Hawaii is about is over there, like way over there. You should have come through Colorado. I see Alaska all the time. I saw Colorado for a second when we went to Four Corners, but Four Corners was frigging closed because reasons. Man, see Discord for the overview from the license plate game. Let me see, drummer. Oh. Okay. We got 39 out of 50. Damn. Damn. That's pretty dang close, dude. Yeah, Tron, I know. It's ridiculous. DC isn't a state, W. I can't believe we didn't get Vermont. 39 states plus four provinces, dudes. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. It, yeah, it's been a nuts trip. Uh, here, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go on, I'm going to go on to the tweeters. And then I'll, I'll go over here and I'll show you some of the pictures here. Basically took pictures everywhere we were, but we can go rewind back to this picture right here. About the only thing that can really recommend Alberta right now is some of the scenery. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gotta go back and start over. Yep. We spotted Vermont in the five hours after I left, and it may not have been added. I don't think we got it, drummer. But then again, I was so tired, I was not paying attention to the license plates. And that's exactly what you just typed. Okay. Yep, that's weird. Welcome back. Nice to see you safe returning. Congrats. Thanks, James. I appreciate it. Hey, 95. What's up, man? Dude, you got it to Boston. Yep. Here it is at, in Long Beach. That bed is massive. Dude, eight foot box, man. I can lie down in that thing and I can do this in that bed and it's fine. I'm doing good, dude. Happy the truck made it. Yep. Interesting, Thomas. Talking about California, Elon just formally moved Tesla from Cali to Texas. Wrecked. Congrats again on the engagement. Is Chad invited to a streamed wedding? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. It really depends if Primo wants to. If they weren't so bloody long, I'd totally buy a quad cab 8-foot box. Yeah, order to... Well, that's longer than this truck. This It's a big truck for what it is. I mean, it's not the biggest. It's not one of those dualies going around. 
I'm probably not Hell Hydra. It really depends on what Brimo runs. Was ring the was the ring part of the plan? Oh, interesting, Thomas. I'd say maybe have more of a highlight reel for your first stream back from being married. Yeah. yeah. Well, may maybe we'll do a Route 154 complication, but yeah. Hey, you're finally home. That's right. Hey, it was only a couple of days late. Not bad, considering. Sniper! <laughs> Hang on one second. Give me one moment. Okay, I'm back. Yep, all right. Got to talk to Dad real quick. Sneaky, tier two, 38-month sub. Guess who just got a job at a local shovel, shuttle, shovel service? Shovel. Nice. Shuttle service as a driver. Hey, that's great, man. We've been trying to reach you about your extended car's warranty. No, you know what my dad wanted me to you know what my dad wanted to tell me? What channel the damn Red Sox game is on, baby. I I'm definitely definitely going to uh you know, have it on here while we're talking. Um, does it feel good to be home? You know what, dude? If Fachi, it feels weird. Like, weird. It feels bizarre. Like, Brimo was talking about it, and she's right. Uh, it feels strange. Like, we shouldn't be here almost. Hang on. I gotta... There's no question who... There we go. Yep. Good to see you back in Boston. Thank you. Does it feel... Yeah, all right. Opinion on the Bruins for this upcoming season. I think they're going to be good. Likes, welcome home. Thank you. Anyway, sorry. What was I talking about? Yeah. It... Why do we have a Honda starting for that noise? Did you miss this? That was a Honda. I have the game on right now. All right, Overdrive. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, let's go over here. I recently switched all the labels on my wife's spice rack. Has she realized what you've done? Not yet, but the th the time is coming. All right. Welcome back. Okay. Okay. What was going on now that we've derailed? Speak the herbs herbs correctly. Herbs. Happy birthday. That was a that's a terrible joke. Thank you, G Core. Anyway, yeah. 
So, you were showing pictures from the trip. That's right. All right. So, yeah. Is one of the screens blank in the background? Yeah. It's the shuttle picture. Why? Sylakovsky! Subscribe to Tier 1 and Suffer 6. But thanks for all the entertainment. Keep up the good work. Honestly, from a little time that I've been in the stream, the streaming rig seemed to hold up pretty good. Good game. Das helped us with it. You were telling Chad how it feels very, feels very surreal, <laughs> surreal to be home. Yeah. Yeah, it's your birthday. It's not my birthday, G Core. My birthday's in July, man. Right after America's birthday. Wheel falling off GIF in its place. TV Strange. There's a five month reset. Happy birthday. Feliz cumpleaños. Gracias, guy. Did you hear about the Russian space news fiasco? It kind of makes me sad. Yeah, I'm still going to cover it. They did. They can't do anything about it if I want to cover it and I want to translate it. Oops. What are they going to do? Say you can't do that? All right. We'll see how that, see how that, see how that ends up. Jared, 26 month resub. Oh yeah. Did you see that Stormworks is having a weapons DLC? You don't know, Overdrive, but that's cool. Happy three month belated birthday. Thanks, G Core. G Core, have you seen what have you been, are you familiar with Route 154? Dude, I drove this. That truck. Th 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 we did this. Yeah. Hey Tech, welcome home. Mr. Dimitri would be very mad. Yeah, but if they're gonna you know, stifle freedom of speech like that. Like, I don't care. I'm going to cover it more now. And I'll keep doing my bad translations. Yep. Yeah, I was in here for a night or two. Right on. Hey, Maverick, 26 month resub. So happy you guys made it home. Streams have been awesome. Yeah. You have to replace the shuttle one. Yeah. I like the way you think. Yeah, likes. I'm just going to do it more now. Become ungovernable. Put the peanut butter cap on top of the jam. All right, anyway. <clears throat> so, we started out in Long Beach, right? And let's see. Let's go up from there. Let's take a look. There's the junk fuel filter. YG helped me uh, fix that in his freaking garage. There it is. <laughs> oh, boy. If only we knew where that, uh, where this trip was going. <laughs> uh, our cabin is 34 month resub. Oh man. If only we knew where this trip at was going to end up. Was this in Cali still? This was in Inland Empire. Yeah. I won't say exactly where, but it's somewhere over here. Somewhere in this area right here. I've never be actually been over here. I know I, I changed the fuel filter in Rancho, but yeah. This is what I've been working on on stream while you were on the road. Eh, what? Oh, yeah, the Arctic Mobile. Nice, 95. There you go. Make 76 months. Thanks, man. You would have hit the abort key. Nah, I still would have done it. Hey, there's the guy. So glad you didn't doze off and run Brimo and yourself off the road. Glad you made it home safe. It was a great trip. You did well. Thanks, man. So that was it. That was over here in Inland Empire. Uh, and then we made it, we drove, see, there's the highway. We drove up this through Cajon Pass, which was one of the prettiest drives I think I've ever taken. Oh, nice, 95. There you go. And then let's see, where did we go from there? I think we were in Vegas and I, I, uh, didn't take any pictures in Vegas. You can't report Russian news if Russia censors the news at the source, though. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Oh, yeah, we did take a food picture. That's right. We did take a food picture. Yeah. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. No wedding pics, Kappa. Oh my god. So Okay, here's one picture at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. 
There's always the VOD. Oh, gosh. There's Las Vegas Motor Speedway before we hogged the rim out. Oh, yeah, there's the food. Ah, ha, ha. Uh, dude, this restaurant was wild, man. It felt like being in the expanse in this thing. How was the White Chapel? Shut up. And we all, we had apple juice. See that? It's some nice apple juice. Hey, Duel, glad to see you made it back safely. Thanks, man. The only reason you made it back was because you weren't driving a Chevy. Oh, jeez. Dude, look at that. Three types of mac and cheese. Bacon, lobster, and regular. It was amazing. And those are Brussels sprouts over there. And you know what? They were delicious. They called these truffle fries, but I they're French fries. They're, they're French fries. <laughs> and then we drove out to... Yeah, baby. There it is. To the Hoover Dam. You're making me hungry. Yep. Yeah, I could go for a steak right now. Where was that? That's that that was a, a place called STK at the Cosmopolitan in Vegas. So we did drive up and down the strip uh, in, in Las Vegas, which was cool. This drive right here between LA and Vegas is cool. That's a very, 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 very pretty, pretty drive. And Vegas, Vegas is fun. Oh man. Yeah, it, it's fun. Yeah, too bad he didn't get a chance to partake of the 72 ounce steak. Yep, yep, you're not wrong. So that was the Cosmo, which is right here. It's like a mall with a hotel built on top of it. it it's nuts, dude. And then we, we did see the Bellagio. I did take pictures of the fountain. Did you valet it? No, I had a place to stay. Uh, I have a, a very good buddy of mine. One of my best friends from high school uh, lives in Vegas. So we had uh, we had some housing up there. And then we, we went to Fremont Street in downtown. I didn't know that the strip wasn't in downtown. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, we went up and down in, in here. That was a good time. There was a breakfast restaurant at the Cosmo called Egg Slut. <laughs> yep. And then, yeah, we drove up here to Las Vegas Motor Speedway. The parking lot where I took that picture is right here. The D is a Detroit-themed casino? Oh, man, we should have gone there. Did you watch for people puking on the zip line? Zip line was closed, man. And then from there, we went, we drove over here, and where's the Hoover Dam? There it is. We went to the dam. I took that picture from up here looking this way. Hey, came here, 36 month resub. Congratulations. Thank you. That damn dam was damn big, I'll tell you that. It's crazy. Yeah, bigger than you think. Kais, this is the historic spot where Kaisar's Legion and the New California Republic, uh, you know, fought very diligently. Need to come to Thunder Valley? Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree. What about Instagram? That died quickly. Uh, yeah, when the, the, the truck broke, so we, yeah, I'll, I'll put all the, I can put all these pictures up on Instagram later. Do you have seen this airline? Yeah, Janet. Uh, I don't know what that is. Yeah, I don't know what that means. So, from there, guys. Uh, Aquila Star, thank you for the seven months. <laughs> I don't know what that is, Jay. I have no idea. I'm trying. It's a pretty grand canyon. You should go and see it. And then from there, but with a twist. <laughs> but no, I don't know. W. I don't know what you're talking about. 
I don't know what that means. Since that engagement, your truck broke how many times? It's a sign of bad luck. Just once. Just once. There's just a hub from there. Look at how happy she is. God damn, that was money. It was the comic soda. Yeah. So, guys, I'm not gonna sit here and say that the entire the entirety of Route 154 was just a ruse to get to get Brienne to uh, hey Hibbit. Congrats again. Thanks, man. The entirety of Route 154 was just a ruse to get Brimo to the Grand Canyon because she would have figured it out any other way. But it, that's pretty much what it was. But hey, I got a truck out of it. Not gonna lie, it's a pretty Cogger's move right there. Hey, that's you. Uh, see, that's, see that smile? That's a real smile right there. It's a real smile. She still didn't know what was going on when I took that picture. Glad you're home safe. Love the trip. It all went well and took you until you took Route 666. Nice big smile. That's right, Thor. That's right, man. You done good, Spanky. Thanks, man. Yeah, though I'm I'm serious, guys. The, the, the entirety of Route 154 was planned around that that one thing. You remember when I said a long time ago, I'm probably not gonna get, I'm probably not gonna make the money back. I mean, you guys have certainly helped, uh, no doubt. Uh, but uh, that's kind of what I was getting at. <laughs> I'm not gonna get the money back, but yeah, not just any truck—a truck that means something to Brimo, so she can't ever make you sell it. Ha 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 ha! Five head. Everybody wins this way, Smirks, right? <laughs> Anyway, so from there, from there we drove to Flagstaff, Arizona, which was one of my favorite cities because Flagstaff, you wouldn't think of it, but it's, it's very beautiful, very beautiful up there. I really like the high desert. I saw it, Ivan. Yep, yep. Now you need to leave the wedding in that truck. No, no, we already have this figured out. I'm not leaving the wedding in that truck. We arrive in the 97 and we leave in the 59. Big brain. Tell them about our engagement dinner. <laughs> uh, my parents figured out where we were staying and delivered champagne to the ho to the hotel room. We stayed at this little at this resort called Little America in Flagstaff. It's awesome. It's a really nice it's a really nice little hotel, right? And uh, my parents delivered champagne to the to the hotel room at, right after Brimo and I ordered Little Caesars. We had Little Caesars and champagne for dinner. We didn't get to do that, Papa, but yeah. Fantastic work, 10 out of 10. Would R154 again? Yeah, or not. Yep, yep. Yep. Does the coronet get to be in the wedding? I don't know, maybe. That's so American. <laughs> so stupid. Maybe I should start... Maybe I should start from when we flew out there. I have plenty of pictures. Living the high life. Yep. It's so bad, drummer. <laughs> I stayed in Williams when I went to the Grand Canyon. Right on. Also, I'm chat only right now because I maxed my data. Oops. <laughs> Hey, good. 14 month resub. I just had Little Caesars yesterday. No bubbly, though. Little Caesars is great, man. But Baker, dude, that place was good, man. That was a good burger. Drive the truck to Florida for SLS. Yes. Yes. Burger. Anyway. Oh no, we lost the screen. Yeah, I'll I'll get it back. It's okay. Uh, 
It's all right. We'll we'll get it back. It's fine. So what is your ultimate plan for the 59? Run and drive it, and then figure it out. All right, off the stream. All right, 95. Yep, yep. Baker is the Inland Empire secret. It's good, man. C second, also C second to last. What's up, dude? Just type it again, Gabe. Just just type it again, brother. I gotta get back into the swing of things. But anyway. Oh, nice, Arnok. There you go. I'll see you there. Then you won't be hard to find in that thing. So the whole picking up the truck from the other side of America and the proposal was just a test run for the SLS live stream. I mean, more more proposal, Finn, but yes, yes. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Your 97 looks like a truck out of the movie Twister. <laughs> maybe, you know what? Like, guys, maybe, now that I'm thinking about this, maybe I should just recap and start from the beginning. Yeah, we'll just keep going. Uh, I'm sure I'll recap it again. Then we went hiking in, uh... In Flagstaff. I, I liked Flagstaff. It was very pretty. Yes. Look at the vesicles. Look at the look at the vesicles. They were called vesicles. On the rock. Very volcanically prior volcanically active region, which is strange, but because you're like seventy three hundred feet up in the air or something. So how much of the equipment was lent by DOS? The live view and the gimbal camera and the Raspberry Pi. If you want to do another Route 154 to Huntsville Redstone Arsenal while I'm still in Alabama, I'd definitely meet you there. All right, good to know. You're on the volcano. Yeah, 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 you're not wrong. And then this is the part where we didn't have any connection, but we drove to Monument Valley, which is the very, like, if you ever watch the Roadrunner and Coyote, like the, the, the Looney Tunes, the Roadrunner and Coyote is Monument Valley. It's Utah. There it is. Meep meep. Yep. Did I see the Roadrunner? Nope. No, I haven't. Anyway. Monument Valley to me was Looney Tunes and then Motor Star. Yep, yep. How many miles was Monument Valley, would you say? It's a long drive, dude. 40, 50 miles. Any leftover TNT? No. Yeah, Monument Valley is very pretty. And there was this crazy rainstorm kind of coming in, so we took this nutso picture. Yeah, YG. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. I think we got a picture of it down here somewhere. Yep, that's the dashboard that we were dealing with, man. I did get a new dash pad for the truck, but that's later in the story. I'm glad you made it home safe. Yep. 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 Oh, we were so optimistic. <laughs> uh, anyway. And then from there, we drove from Santa Fe, Monument Valley, Utah to Santa Fe, New Mexico. It wasn't streamed. It was basically just a dark road. Nobody would have gave a crap anyway. Uh... SR550 in, in New Mexico is one of the sketchiest roads I've ever driven on, especially driving on it at night. You know what? I kind of should probably see what the heck that, uh, what the heck that road looks like. I drove on it at night, and it was, in fact, very sketchy. Let me just pick a random spot here. Oh, uh, that's not that bad. This road at night, though, it's very dark because there is quite literally nothing around. Or you can boot up ATS since it's in the game. Dude, I did it in real life. I don't need to do it again. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, Jason, it was really, 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 really dark. I drove that road from... Uh, Sorry. Middle mouse button isn't working too well. <clears throat> I drove this road. Am I upside down? I'm upside down. There we go. From 
What the heck was that noise? Oh, right, Algy. Rating. Thanks, man. I don't know. Dude, I haven't heard the new alerts. From Kurt Kirtland. That's where I... Yeah. Kirtland, right there. From Kirtland, New Mexico, all the way to freaking Santa Fe. Well, to Albuquerque, and then to Santa Fe. Up here. Welcome back to Earth. Thanks, man. <clears throat> Yarg, hey, you survived. You didn't. You didn't totally 154 the truck at least. Yep. And then we started in Santa Fe, and this is when we went into the, you know, from Santa Fe, the Continental Divide gets it starts. Stuff starts to get really flat, and it doesn't start to get hilly again until basically the other side of Missouri. A rain just flew over my house. <laughs> said you had alternator issues. I never had alternator issues the entire once the entire trip, KS Ben. I don't know where you heard that. <laughs> Rocket, anyway, thanks for the raid, man. So, this is in Santa Fe. Santa Fe is cool. Very chill city. That's why it's called the Great Plains. Yep, that's right. <sighs> anyway, let's see. And then this is in Armarillo, or outside Armarillo, Texas. There's the Midland Cafe. I parked my Ferd next to another Ferd. Hey, welcome home. Thanks. <clears throat> yeah. I forget which town this is in Texas. So from Santa Fe, we made the trek down 285, which is an extremely straight road, to I-40. And then we took I-40 to OKC, and then got on I-44, and went through Tulsa. We stayed in Oklahoma City, which is actually pretty surprising. It's just, it's nice. It's a nice city. You know, don't, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not going to go in there and be like, well, I expect to... No, it's, it's cool. I've never been to Oklahoma. I ended up spending a lot more time there than, uh, than planned, but hey, whatever. Should have made the guy an offer. The other fur is for sale. Just saying, yeah, right. Tulsa is better, though, Kappa. I didn't get to spend much time in Tulsa. Pops was cool, wasn't it? Yep, yep. Klein's Corner, yeah, we went past it for the reels, but yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so, from there... Oh, yeah, there's Cadillac Ranch in Armarillo. We basically just snapped a picture and left. <laughs> North of OKC at the Kansas line on 135 is Ponca. That's where you're from. Did you say Armarillo as a joke? Arm what do you want me to say? You want me to say Armarillo? You didn't put a sticker on the caddy? Dude, we, we got there and we left. <laughs> as you can see, the tire looks absolutely fine there in that picture. That's really freaking annoying. There's no R in Amarillo, guys. Hey, is there a K in fuck you? Please tell me. Not taking your crap today, chat. I'm tired, all right? <laughs> I'll take the timeout, man. I will take my 15 second timeout, and it'll be worth it. <laughs> <laughs> what color are you gonna paint it i don't know <clears throat> dude it, it yeah and then from there we went to okay see there's the omni a brand new hotel across the street from where the thunder play and uh yeah that's where they valeted the truck it stayed there in front of the omni overnight which is awesome you honestly love the red and white? Yep, yep. Can you zoom in on your tire there in OKC? Uh, dude, here's the other picture. Look. People were enhancing this image and looking at it in the chat. Uh, I saw you guys messing with it. The lugs, look, they're all there. Like, they're all, they're all there. That tire looks fine.
You know? This post makes it look like two different trucks on either side of it. Yeah. Yeah, right? The tires are dry rotted? No, the tires are not dry rotted at all because California. This truck has literally no rust on it. Guys, I was driving, I drove this truck around today to offload my toolbox. I, I, I put my toolbox in the bed of the 59 uh, that I was using. I put all my tools there. I'll sort it later, but uh, I was driving it around, around, around Boston and I got like a bunch of thumbs up and I even got a devil horns. I... All right. <laughs> Makes me want to fully fix the 69 and go on a trip, but the TUV will assassinate you. So, Forge, here's what you do. You sell it to me. I register it over here. We give it mass plates, and then you can drive it around and be TUV free. I'm sure that's probably illegal, but I can't tell you how. Uh, TUV, John, they have to, you have to tell them everything about your car, blah, 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 that you have to go through all these inspections and tests and, yeah. Yeah, it's state and state inspection, dude. Um, yeah. Anyway. So, I'm pretty sure that, I'm pretty sure that this truck would have failed TUV pretty hard. It would fail TUV, like, yeah. Anyway, can you zoom in on your tire there at the hotel? All right, our dual, I think I already did that. Um, yeah, see, this is in Armadillo. All the lugs are there in that picture, guys. It's hard to tell, but you can see that there's variation in the pixels. All the lugs are there, which is very strange. I, I still can't figure out what this was. I, I, it had to have been loose lugs. It had to, or the diff. I, I don't know. Doesn't, whatever. Doesn't matter in the past. So there we are in OKC. And then from there up here in uh, near Venita, right around here. Bono, my tire, mate. It's gone, mate. We threw a tire. Did the lug shear off? The lug sheared. Yeah. Never sheared a wheel stud before. And it, sl it hogged out the damn tire, too. You have a pick of the rim after. It shows that the axle locked up versus the nuts falling off. Yeah. That pick was shortly after you hit the New Mexico crater. Man, did that thing screw the truck up. Broken studs is from loose lugs. They were tight. Bill, they were tight when I left Santa Fe. Strangest thing, dude. But then <laughs> we'll we'll get to we'll get to that a little bit later. Anyway. So the truck threw a threw a hub. The hub exploded completely and then we took it to a shop in Adair called the shop on 28 which is a very very awesome uh awesome shop they they slapped the truck back together real quick shop on 28 is over here there it is good dudes they pressed the studs back in real quick uh and i may have done a little bit of modifications to myself so we didn't have any rear brakes basically from here all the way to Detroit. So from there, we left, we left, uh, Venita is where we were staying. Uh, and I drove up 44 through Joplin, clear across Missouri, through Springfield, through St. Louis. Uh, and then I think I got on 70 from there. And then we took 70 to Indy. I did this stretch we did a stretch from Venita to Oklahoma, uh, from Venita, Oklahoma to Indy. Yeah, that was a long way. Yeah, I did that stretch in, in the dark. I, we probably should have streamed it, but we, we were super tired. We got a picture of the arch, but it's at night and you can't really see it.
Yeah, I shut the... Primo was tired, and we shut the stream off on the outskirts of St. Louis, but we drove right across this bridge, uh, right here, 64. We saw the arch, and the cards were playing, dude. The cards were playing the, uh, I think they were playing the Cubs that night. We didn't have a blowout, G-Core. The hub sheared itself completely apart. Like, catastrophic failure. Uh, uh, I don't think I have any pictures of the hogged out rim. Maybe, maybe Brimo does. Brimo just has pictures of dogs. <laughs> pictures of her with dog. That's the shop dog at, uh, on 28, at the shop on 28. Oh, she has some sweet pictures of Monument Valley. Look at that place. Discord? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I'll have to go find it. Wow. Wow. There's Joey Blue Skies. <laughs> Later in the project, though. The Rim. You got it, Maz? Yeah. The, dude, even the guys that the guys at the shop on 28 were like, I've never seen loose lugs do that. Which leads me to the next part of the story. Yeah, Kigster. Mm -hmm. See, group Discord. You're a group. Oh, thank you. Primo took video of me rolling the damn tire back. I sent you Discord pictures. All right. Anyway, so, yeah, we hogged the rim out completely. Uh, I, dude, I think the, I, I don't know. Uh, I, it could have been loose lugs, uh, and if it was, those lugs backed out real quick. I've never heard of lug nuts backing out that fast. The only, the only logical explanation is that, my back. <clears throat> the only logical explanation is that it, uh, that bump, those bumps in New Mexico really screwed it up. Yeah. Yeah, Jason, it's crazy. Those hoes should be round. Yep. Was there any spot... Was there any one spot more worn on that tire? Nope. Strange. You have missed so much Boca and Big Crane news. Yep. Mm -hmm. The Route 66 road couldn't have helped. Yeah. Anyway, so the shop on 28 fixed it. They used the spare tire that I pulled uh, when we built the truck. I, I kind of skipped over the building the truck part. Oops. Uh, and they rebuilt the hub and they pressed new wheel studs in there. And, uh, but they re we re I, I, at my request, at my request... I did not tell them to do this. Uh, I mean, I told them to do this. They did not suggest this. Just, you know, because, yeah, this is super sketchy. Uh, I, I, w I found a vice grip, and I crimped off the rear brakes because there was no rear brake back there because everything fell apart and decided to do a blate onto the highway. Um, yes, a blate. There was a lot of heat involved. Shut up. Um... I declined rear brake repair, and I was like, yeah, I'll fix it. I'll fix it when we get to Detroit. And that's exactly what we did. So enter the next phase. We were running no rear brakes on the truck from for this 540 miles, and then after that, on to Detroit. So for about 700, so for about 780 miles, we were running with no, <laughs> no rear brakes. I don't know, Entropy. Hard to tell. Yeah. And then, and then, outside of St. Louis, the damn exhaust fell off, too. <laughs> the damn exhaust fell off, too. So this thing, we limped it into Detroit. And when we did, this is where it got kind of fun. We limped the dang thing into Detroit. It made it to Indy, and there it is. There it is in front of. There it is at the hotel in Indy, and there it is in front of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, baby. 
Oh my. <laughs> Only in Oklahoma would they let you leave like that. I no, Fanny Pack, no. I want to say that I was the one that suggested that. The shop on 28 is a they're very good. Very good shop. I absolutely would recommend them. And everybody in Oklahoma is super freaking nice. And they're very they're very candid, they're very straightforward, very honest folk. Yeah, I, I will say that no, that is not a reflection of them. They were like, we should you should fix your brakes. You should fix your brakes because that's dumb crimping off the line. And I'm like, well, will crimping off the line work? And they're like, oh, it will work. I'm telling you, you shouldn't do that. And I'm like, eh, just, uh, do you have a vice grip around? And they're like, here's a vice grip. We are suggesting don't do this. No, it was a very professional shop. Very professional shop. And I'm the one that told them to do it. And they, they were like, nah, we're not doing that. Here's a vice grip. I'm donating this vice grip to you. You do whatever you want with it. So they are very nice. They are very professional. They are very, very good mechanics. Yeah, those guys are really, really good. Very professional dudes. So send it back to them with a t-shirt. Yep, yep. You should send them fermented and distilled grains. Yep. So, yeah, no, it, it, that is not a, you, you know, I know what people are thinking. Oh, flyover state, they're probably like, yeah, just pinch the damn brake line, dude. No, they were like, don't do that. Don't do that. That's dangerous. And I'm like, I understand the safety risks involved. Thank you for pressing the wheel studs in. I appreciate it. And we left. How's it being back? Very weird. Yeah, YG, that's the, that was the, that was one fifth. That's the project, man. That's what it's supposed to do. As a shop owner, I would suggest shooting them a call and letting them know you made it okay. Oh, I'm going to mail them the vice grip back. I'm going to mail them the vice grip. How was Detroit? Good. Anyway. I think so, Sawyer. Yeah, I think that's what happened. Yep. I remember when this used to be a gaming stream channel. Oh, I remember when you don't, when you didn't make stupid comments in chat. Oh, oh, wait, it's gone, Gully man. Oh, you must have smartened up real quick. Your your comment, your your wise your wise ass comment is gone, huh? Funny how that works. Anyway, from there we got it to Detroit with Brimo's dad helping me out on a leg there. And there it is at Willow Run. Truck's been to Willow Run, which is really cool. And then from there, Joey Blue Skies, so my father-in-law, I guess. It's a B-52, yep, yep, the buff, mm-hmm. You mean will it run? Ah, uh, see what you did there. Um, <laughs> you guys suck. Father-in-law to be. Yep. Mm -hmm. We promptly backed it into Primo's uh, driveway at her house and got this thing up and fixed everything. Fixed all the problems. Oh, thank you very much, Dish. There you go. You're back in a chair. Yep. Yeah. They have. Yeah. That's another project. There. It's Detroit. Everybody has. Everybody has these projects. I love how my grandparent. I love how my grandparents' house in Dearborn looks just like this. That that is in Dearborn, man. <laughs> it's probably down the street. Yeah. Yeah. Draco, of course. So you got this truck for a side project. <laughs> that's in Dearborn, man. <laughs> that's where Primo's from. <laughs> so anyway, we, uh, so on Monday, we nursed it into Detroit on Sunday night. And then on Monday, me and Primo's dad went, we went part picking. So I went part picking for the second time. Uh, I went part picking for the second time uh, on this trip. 
and I went and got a couple of upgrades. We got a couple of upgrades there. Look, that's what this picture is. Look, I got a nice chrome grill. I got a chrome bumper. The chrome bumper had some, in, in Primo's dad's words, it had some Michigan patina on it. But, yep, don't worry. I used some phosphorus and a brill pad, and we buffed that right out. Yeah, we were going to get the stuff done on Monday night to go on Tuesday, and then it rained. It rained like crazy. Dude, it rained a lot. Hey, Neo. XL, more like XLT. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got the nice Cromer bumper right there. Look at that thing. That, dude, it came right around. Seriously, Diet Coke. Yeah, we were gonna do the we were gonna do the repairs on Monday night, and right when we got the stream setup set up, it, it like catastrophic my summer car thunderstorm. Uh, so we were like, yeah, we'll just do it tomorrow, and we'll we'll track on Wednesday. So we did all the upgrades on Tuesday, and uh, then we started the final leg, which was which was yesterday. Did you unplug the phones? Huh? Oh yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. By the way, your truck is actually from Mexico. Um, all right. Are you saying this as a matter of fact? This is something I knew eight months ago, RB. Yeah, no crap. It's 3FT VIN. Of course it's from Mexico. Anything, any Ford with a 3FT VIN is, or 3F, is from Mexico. Uh, I knew this a long time ago. It was made in the Qualtit Assembly in 1997. What, what are you trying to be funny there? So what? Who cares? It's a hell of a truck. EJ, are those those two gas tank doors. Are there more gasoline doors on the other side? Nope, nope, nope. Thanks, Matt. It's not American made. I don't care. It's a Ford truck, man. It's a beast. Five twenty six ninety seven is the truck's birthday. There you go, Bill. Were you here when I uh, when I traced the VIN on stream? Are you going to get the auxiliary tank? Yeah, yeah, I think so. It belongs in Mexico. I'd love to drive it to its factory. That would be sweet. How did the double tank work? Was it a gravity system or a double feeder? Twin sending units. Thought about a lightning conversion? It's an F-250, so a lightning conversion would not be preferable. Uh, there are so many things that can be done to make the thing the perfect DJ command center. That's right, Hellfish. So we got the upgraded grill. I got the upgraded bumper. Uh, what else did we get? We rebuilt the entire drum, and then... When we rebuilt the drum, we noticed that turning the back left tire turned the right, the back right tire in the opposite direction, which is not what a welded diff does. A viewer noticed that. Merkers noticed that. He said something's wrong. And I looked at I looked at Joey Blue Skies, Supremo's dad, and I was like, yeah. Yeah, all right, let's pull the cover and let's take a look. And what we found is nothing short of miraculous. Yeah, maybe, Hellfish. Yeah, Donsky. Mm -hmm. What's your thoughts on... Yeah, this... It has an engine from a Lightning RB. It has a 351 in it. But look. Look look at this just How? Uh, PC Tech, 
I think the welds were already broken. And I think that diff through that entire trip was just tossing around chunks of metal inside. I'm pretty damn sure. I remember driving it around California and not hearing any tire squeal. I'm like, what the hell? I'm not, you know what? I'm just going to do the right thing and pretend I didn't. Yeah. Immaculate deweldization. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry, I've been doing a lot of talking. That's why I'm coughing. I've never heard of a differential unwelding itself and then using the weld to fill in the chunks on the gears and making good teeth out of it. This differential took me all the way home. We drove 2,000 miles on that. It still has that in the diff. It was not baby Jawa at all. We were doing 70 on the highway. I did a couple of polls for viewers in chat. I, we pulled so much metal out of this thing and then we sealed it back up, cleaned the gaskets off, sealed it up and put it back together and it still works. So the truck may have been assembled in Mexico. That axle was made in Detroit. We, we looked at it. It's a Sterling, it's a Sterling axle. So it was made in Sterling Heights. Ford's axle plant, uh, which is up here, uh, so it's up here. Bop, bop, bop. Mufasa, 27 month resub. Uh, let's see. Sterling Axle. That thing was made right there in Sterling Heights, baby. At Ford's Axle Plant. Not far from where we took it apart. Dude, I've. So, this is where this gets a little weird, all right? Could this have been the reason why the tire sheared off? Yeah, sure. Is it? Mm -hmm. Don't know. But, I will tell you this. I have never, ever, ever, ever heard of a diff unwelding itself and repairing itself in the same process. That's never happened. I've never heard of that happening. And neither did Brimo's dad. And then we had Brimo's dad's brother. So Brimo's uncle come over and he looked at it. And he, he, he's an engineer and he was like, uh, what? it still works. And we showed him how it had perfect backlash. And it, it, he was like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> All right, drummer. Good night. You're so incredibly lucky with that diff. I had one blow on a 350 van and it went from bad to a full stop in a hurry. I can't believe it. Yeah, we also found out the diff is a 410, dude. It's a beast mode of a differential. Technically, yes, because the wheel would not have been at the same rotation as the diff. So yes, and the wheel would shear itself off. Yeah, Hyper, that... As most insurers would say, it was an act of God. I... Uh, how else can you explain that, man? Diff replacement stream when? Yeah. When the... Yeah. <laughs> we, see, last. What's up, dude? I just... I can't believe that. Uh, where's your last, G? How come I'm having trouble keeping up with... Oh, there we go. It doesn't make sense for a broken weld to, to stop the side, though. You were going straight when it broke, which means the wheels would have been rotating the same speed, and only the and the only gears should be ringing pinion. That's what I'm saying. This whole thing doesn't make sense, but clearly something happened in there that wasn't ideal. I've seen a diff unweld itself, but it promptly exploded. <laughs> yeah, I guess Draco. With a 410 at around 70 mile an hour, so you're around 3,300 to 3,500. Somewhere around there. There's no tack in it, Domsky. Uh, yeah, Hyper, I, dude, I, I don't get it. I, maybe a metal chunk got in there. I mean, G-Core, I know you don't think so, but, dude, those lugs were tight. Swear, swear on my mother's eyes, those lugs were tight. I know they were tight. They were not, they were not loose. Something else happened here that did, that was not the lug nuts. Sure, John, yeah. Where'd things like that happen with the FA-18? 
A AMAD. It would fail, but the hydraulic pressure stays up. Strange. Broken hub might have broken the diff, though. I don't know, G Core. I have no idea. Uh, point is, point is, Gabe, look, we did 2,000 frigging miles with that. That did 2,000 miles. That's, n dude. I would, dude, the entire trip until we got it home, even after we shut off the stream yesterday, I was like, when is this diff going to grenade itself? Yeah, how about that? How about that for tough? Freaking chunks of metal floating around inside of the diff and it makes, it goes 2,000 miles. Frick you, it goes 2,000 miles. The axle is not twisted, Creation. We had to take it off. We had to take it off to get the hub apart because these are heavy duty hubs. Uh, so the axle is actually, the end of the axle has a flange on it and the flange is attached to the red part, the hub. This is the axle right there. See that? That's the outside of it. Save that diff as a trophy. The spider gears at least. All right, Gazen, see you, buddy. It has to be a tooth shearing off and then rumbling around within the diff and then it would have been pebbles. Lucky it didn't explode. Hyper, you know what that was, man? That was divine intervention. I gotta get my wallet. My wallet says bad melon farmer on it. Like, <laughs> dude, this thing just took the punches and kept going. Like, You can set up the truck for dualies. I don't know, Jim. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, it's it's definitely definitely strange. So from there, from there, we fixed the rear brakes. We bled the rear brakes. Uh, we replaced the brake line that I crimped with the vice grips. I still have the vice grips, by the way. We cleared all the metal chunks out of here. We resealed this all back up, topped it off with gear oil, and then sent it yesterday for, well, I, I got the chrome off of the grill. Yeah, see this? This is with Diet Coke and a brill pad. That's what the bumper looked like before. This is what it looks like now. It's RL dig up truck. Oh God, Jason, old school reference. I guess hyper, something like that, man. So, it came right around. Look. <laughs> it looks great. I got the chrome rust off the grill. Yeah. And then, the last trip, we sent it, for De we sent it from Detroit to Boston. The Boston Navy Yard. Hey, Tech, give it a sub to Hyper. There you go. There it is. This is Ford's built uh, one of four. That's basically Ford's world headquarters right there. Are you going to repaint it to match the white? I don't know. Did you ever check the front joint of the drive shaft? The 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 slip the slip yoke? Yeah. So this truck, because it's not four by four, has the drive shaft going into a carrier bearing and the carrier bearing going into a slip yoke. Yeah, that's all fine. You should bedline the whole thing. Agreed. Do the guards at the Navy Yard eyeball the sus-looking truck out there in the middle of the night? No. The Boston Navy Yard is a, uh... Yeah. It's not actually a Navy Yard anymore. It's a historic... It's a national park. They shut it down in the 70s. Uh, and then they made it a national park, which is cool. That's where the Constitution is. Uh, the Constitution, the USS Constitution. Oldest commission warship in the world, right there. Three-masted frigate, one of the U.S. Navy's first ships. Yeah, I, part, I, I stopped the stream right next to this thing. I think it's actually called Diversity. I think it's an old wooden ship. There are folks in the Constitution not you're being watched by our Marines. Um, sure. Anyway, um, so yeah, we made a straight shot towards Boston and we sent it. And it made it. Made it the whole way. It's crazy. It's a crazy trip. Crazy journey, guys.
And my parents met up with us in Schenectady, New York, and was riding a chase vehicle, but we didn't need them. So they, they got off, and I sent this thing right to the Navy Yard, man, from Detroit. Uh, there we go. That's one of my favorite pictures, dude. That truck was designed in that building. This truck, the 9th Gen F1, the 9th, the 9th, actually, the, every F series was designed in this building or down the street. Yeah, that truck was designed here. Not built. This is a Mexican truck. I don't care. I, I really don't care. It's one of the most dependable pieces of equipment I've ever owned, ever. And he plans on doing a road trip in the F100. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That has to go find its factory in Texas at some point, man. Was the Ford Falcon designed there too? Joshy, yeah, pretty much. Yes, actually. Ford Falcon, the, the, the XA Falcon, Joshy, yes, it was designed there. Talk about a second 150, Route 154. Any ideas where to? We might be doing mini ones, Ian, locally for a little while. Or just drive around streams. Guys, I was honestly targeting Artemis 1. I think that's fair. Is there a buzz you get by doing something different sometimes coming back home? He's a little um, let down. I get that. Eh, maybe. That many years before another one. Very edgy joke yard. Um, on a scale from 1 to 10, how tired are you? I'd be beat for weeks. App State, I'm okay. I'm all right. I'm a little tired. Yeah. The building that inspired the truck. <laughs> so, yeah. That's Ford's world headquarters, guys. Yeah, we drove, drove right up. That's in Dearborn over here. It's been there for a long time. There it is. There's the building. So, yeah, see? FMC World Headquarters right there. Ford, o Ford owns all of this over here. Though, so, like everything, all this stuff. And then we drove by the Innovation Center. I drove everyone to River Rouge. We drove up and down River Rouge, the first Gigafactory. It's crazy you're back. Glad you're safe. Yeah, maybe, W, yeah. Yeah. What engines are made in River Rouge? Uh, my guess is the 3.5 is what they're cranking out nowadays. Every first, well, a lot of, well, not every, but a lot of first gen Mustangs were made here. This place made Mustangs until 2004 and then they moved it to Flat Rock. But um, yeah, that truck, that truck was designed in this building. They engineered it in here, in this building, or uh, what's this one? It could have been that one as well, but I'm pretty sure it was this one. You've been there for training when you used to be a Ford tech. Cool. This is where they did the lightning rollout. And the electric transit rollout right in front of their headquarters. Yep. So it was designed there. I'll show you where the truck was made. It was made in Qualtitlan, which is way down here. So basically just outside of Mexico uh, City. There it is. I'd love to drive it there someday. That would be really cool. Three D buildings don't work. That's the truck where I mean that's the plant where the truck was born. You know what they say in the UK? What Ford means? First on race day. Yeah, the truck was made there. I, I'm not really sure how it found its way up to California, but geez. But I did take parts. I will say that the chrome grill and the chrome bumper are off of a truck that was made at the Wayne Assembly. <laughs> so it has parts from a Michigan truck on it. The parts that are rusty. Yeah, that I had to fix the rust with. But most of it is a, most of it is a Mexican truck. Found your new desktop background. What's that, Ian? 
<laughs> Found on the roadside dead. Yeah, okay. I might have been a border runner in a previous life. No. This truck, I I am the third owner of this truck. The first owner was an IBW electrician in California. He was a tradesman. This is a work truck. Drove the truck for 180,000 miles and then, yeah, got rid of it. They sold it to, uh, uh, the original owner sold it to Hoonigan and then they did the Scumbag Lab stuff with it and then they sold it to me. It's a beast mode of a truck. So, guys, I think I've decided on a name. I think I've decided. I was I was in the truck today. And I mean, you tell me. The, the name is still in flux if you you guys don't like this name. Um pretty pretty truck truck, the red built no. Uh I want to call, I, I was driving in the truck today and I turned on the radio because the radio still works in that thing. It's actually pretty good. Pretty good radio. Um, uh, Apollo 8. No, just kidding. Um, Trucky McTruck Face. A song came on the radio that I, I do enjoy. Is anybody familiar with a band called the Fabulous Thunderbirds? Because if you are, then you probably know what I want to name this truck. What I would like to name it. So you tell me, what are we gonna name the truck? Are you tough enough? Tough enough? <laughs> I think that's a good name. <laughs> you wanna call it Call Me Maybe? No, that's that's not the same song. Tough enough. Yep. Space Shuttle Discovery, final answer. Welcome back. Thanks, tech guy. I want to call it tough enough. Because it is tough enough. It's tough enough to drive clear across the country. Some parts break, but you roll with the punches and it keeps going. Yeah, exactly. It needs to be E-N-U-F-F -F for enough. Yep, tough enough. Yep. Are uh, you tough enough? So the the F2 shitty is now called Tough Enough. <laughs> hey, Sawyer, glad you're home. Not glad the Yankees sent Judge home on that play. Dude, third base third base coach, Sawyer. That guy was sitting there going, oh my god. Uh, dude, they had the camera on him the entire time. He knows he screwed up. Tough Enough has Bremo approved of the name. Yep, yep. Because it's kind of a play on built Ford tough, right? It's tough enough to drive clear across the country after being abused with 170,000 miles on it. Had to mention it with that shirt you're wearing. Oh, I mean, we're losing right now, Sawyer. So, oh, God. But honestly, glad you made it back. Yeah, right on. Tough enough. Yep, that's right. T-F-F-E-N-F. -F. That's right. That would be awesome. Uh, wait, what just happened? Oh, guy hit a ball and it hit the roof. Oops. Call me maybe tough enough. <laughs> so, yeah, home run. Home run because it hit the roof. They were going to catch that ball. Anyway, Lightning makes 240 horsepower, 340 foot-pounds. Your truck would make 210, 325. Should get an engine from a Lightning. A supercharger would fix that problem real quick, RB. I want this truck to be able to do burnouts with that rear end. I want it to be able to do burn That Sterling rear end. If it could take the... the, the if the, if the, uh, the spider gears can take that, I want this thing to... Dude, we need to... We need to Turbo Barra? No, no. No, 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 no. 
No, no, we need more torque. We, and I don't want to do diesel. We need more torque. We, we got to find a way to get as much torque as possible out of that 351. I'm not changing the engine. That Dude, that 351 is healthy. It is very healthy. I cannot believe how healthy that damn, that damn, the damn engine and transmission are. After it was beat on, that thing was pegged on the rev limiter for like five minutes straight. Took it like a freaking champion. It was tough enough. Swap it with a Clevo. Yeah, Jason, probably. Healthy enough to run on lemonade. Yeah, Venom, I didn't even mention that, dudes. In Rancho, in Inland Empire, I replaced the fuel filter and lemonade came out of it. Not actual lemonade, gasoline mixed with water that looked like lemonade. It ran on that all the way to Lompoc and back. Also... No, we both kept each other's secrets. Now that your trip is over, I can finally publicly announce that... Announce mine that I messaged you about. We'll have to pick a night to chat about it. Oh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yep. This thing ran on water. It ran on freaking water. It, it's like, how is that even a thing? How did it not hydrolock? <laughs> so ridiculous, man. This truck's... This truck's been through hell and back, man. It is tough enough. That's why I'm naming it that. That's its name. When will you cut open that filter? Yeah, here. Let me get the... Maz, you have the clip. Thanks, man. I still have this. I still have that. Oh, jeez. What's that guy doing? Ugh. So, yeah, we replaced that in the sender unit, man. Unbelievable. What is that? That's gasoline. That's what came out of the fuel line and the fuel filter, man. For those who don't know, I'm floating in zero G, the first flight for people with disabilities. Just a side note. Yeah, that's awesome. So here, yeah, yeah, I've known about it. That's really cool. That's amazing. That explains the bucking. Chuck, this thing ran on water. It freaking ran on water with gasoline mixed into it. I ended up dropping the sender unit in YG's garage. Unfreaking believable. Give it a taste? Wait, did I? Oh no, I did, didn't I? Did I? I don't know. I don't remember doing that. Oh. Can I send you a quick whisper? Yeah, go ahead. Oh. Yeah, it's dirty. Hmm. I don't remember doing that. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember doing that. <laughs> yeah, that's dirty. <laughs> I don't remember. When did I do that? I don't even remember. Tequila Blanco, Tequila Blanco was the fuel. <laughs> it wiped your memory. <laughs> oh no! Tasting gasoline may affect short term. It was water. <laughs> I said, "Give it a taste," and you. T <laughs> Why did I do that? Hey, it was dirty. It confirmed my findings. U.S. Chad, if you should taste it, said, well, "Yeah, why not?" Oh. Oops. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that, uh, I think the exhaust gas has got to you. 
I ended up just telling them the story. So actually, you know, I told them I told them about the cross country trip, but I didn't tell you. I didn't I didn't say how I got the damn thing. I bought this truck from Hoonigan. Uh, Hoonigan is a YouTube car lifestyle channel, and they stream all kinds of cool stuff with cars. And this was used on their Scumbag Labs uh, show. It's called the F2 Shitty. Uh, and I bought it from them when they changed shops, right? I brought it from them when they when they moved the, their shop from Long Beach to Compton, and I slapped this thing together in a parking lot. Me scare well, me scary and Ernock slapped this together in a parking lot with help from some of the Hoonigan guys. Uh, yeah. So. Did you get to see the warthog where you were there? Oh yeah, saw it up close, man. Where are you? I'm at home, Dunpeel. Bop, bop, bop. Apatoxin, 63 month resub. Welcome back, thank you. Yep. How long have you and Bimo been dating? Since 2017? I was surprised I didn't see any Route 154 on the Hoon social that I checked. There, stuff's coming. Did you sit in it though? No, I didn't ask. I was busy. I was busy trying to get this thing back together, RB. We put this whole thing, I put this whole freaking thing back together. I slapped it together right where it sits, right there. Actually, that's after I turned it around, but Yeah, gasoline does not taste like how it smells. Uh, G-Core? Yeah, it tastes like dirt. Yeah, dirt. It did come out of the ground, right? I mean, there's probably some other stuff in there. That you probably... The two-tone looks good. So was it the Warthog they were burning out while you are fixing the truck? No, they were doing some type of photo shoot. Uh, when it comes out, I'll show you. Didn't taste like lemonade. It sure looked like it. I still have the filter. John, I'll, I'll cut that filter open if, if John Clark is here. Yeah, gasoline smells... It smells funny. Like, some people like it, some people don't. I think it smells good. You shouldn't sniff gasoline. It's not good for you. I think it smells good. It tastes horrible. It tastes like dirt. Uh, yeah, yeah, g -Core, exactly. You're fully aware. Yeah, I got you, man. I got you. Congratulations on the successful mission. Welcome back. Thanks, man. Yeah, so that's, uh... Yeah, slapped the thing together in a parking lot, drove it three 3,000 miles for the most part. It was actually more like 4,000 because the red line should go up to that V and go back down to that S and then... Yeah. Unbelievable. Some gas smells better than others. High octane smells great. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yep, so there it is. That's Route 154. Yeah, Sharpies and Rumber Cement. I mean, those also smell good, too. How long did the trip take you? I got back yesterday, Dunpeel. Uh, we left on the 22nd of September, and I got back on the 6th, so it took about two weeks. Nice job. Thanks, man. Maine to Arizona is almost that far. I mean, yeah. Just like Napalm. Glad you got through it all good. How many days over was the trip? I had planned on getting back on the 3rd to the 4th, and we got back on the 6th. Guys, it's okay. Like, I wanted to get Brimo back for work, uh, but she she always could work remote, so those two days that I spent in Detroit fixing the truck with Remo's dad, she was working. Does it need an oil change now? Yes. Yes, it does. Uh, I'll stream working on it if you guys want. I'm gonna go, you know what I really want to do? I want to go scout the damn wreckers. I'm gonna scout the wreckers around here, see what I can find. Okay, Sawyer, I got your message, dude. Yeah, tomorrow if you want. You just missed the deadline? Who would have thunk? Yeah, but this deadline did, I mean, Primo could work remote, but I needed to get her back here. Thank you, the streams are great and fun. Thank you for them. Did we get all the plates? We got 
we got in the high 30s, Smirks, which is pretty damn good. I got four provinces, too. We got uh, Ontario, Quebec, we got Manitoba, and Alberta. Which is pretty crazy. We got 39 out of 50. All right, Sawyer, sounds good. So how many states did you visit? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 states. No Saskatchewan, sorry. And we got Hawaii. Oh, man, it's a damn unicorn, dude. Oh, it's so annoying. Hey, Builder. I said about 20 to 30 feet from a top fuel when they started it and it switched to nitro fuel. My eyes watered uncontrollably for a bit. Yep, methane. Yep. Yep, yep. I saw a Hawaii plate driving home from work yesterday and was shocked by that. Nice, nice. I saw a Hawaii plate 5.0 in Alabama. Nice. Any Diplo plates? I did see a government vehicle plates, and we saw a lot of Navajo Nation plates and Cherokee Nation plates. 15, you missed Utah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Nice. Haven't seen your face in a couple of days. Yeah. I was doing that. So. I'll probably come up with a better... We'll probably do a better recap some other time when I'm a little less tired. But, chat, you tell me. You like this? You like this project? Think I should do more? Yeah, JJ, I'm here. Give us more. We need more. No Phoenix or Dallas stops. No, near high. Sorry, man. Heck yes, more, more, more. Drive it back to California. Oh, gosh. Um, maybe when we get it a little more fixed up. Like road trips to see rockets? That's what I was thinking, dudes. Yep. Less hubs exploding, but yes, you love it. Well, Dave, you you and the rest of the folks from Oklahoma were more, more than happy to help out, and I do appreciate that. Take it back to Hoon and demand your money back. Absolutely more. Okay, so you guys want to see more. What could we have done better? What could we have done better? I, I know there were some gaps in the coverage, uh, either because we were A, too tired, or B, no reception. But for the most part, we would have had reception through most of this. It's when you get out on the Native American reservations where there's no signal out there. So this means you have the record for the, the... I can't say that word, Storm, but yeah, sure. Some cool little interactive games. Next trip should be this. Not throwing the wheel this time would be good. Okay. You want me to drive to, you want me to drive to Alaska, okay. Being able to move the camera around more would be good. Okay, so multi-cam review. Glad to know you turned down that Tesla truck sponsorship. I did. Hm. Don't remember doing that. Vlog style cam for out of vehicle portions. Yeah, Gordo, yeah. Hey, thanks for the brew, dude. I kept one, dude. I kept one of the Guinness. I didn't open it. I have it here. I have it here. Hold on one second, Gordon. Hold on one second, man. Gave some of the beer to Skiri and Ernok, and then I drank some of it, but yuck, 79 months. Thanks, man. Bro, there you go. It would be nice to upgrade the audio with future projects. Got it. Um, I'm going to mute the mic for this part. Frost. Gordo bought me this beer in California. Uh, 
Screen is messed up. Now yeah, it's probably because I just slammed my desk. Ah, more lenient den light so you could drive for better views. Yep. Nah. <laughs> nah, I'm good, Apatoxin. I mean, the truck could probably take it. Get the camper shell. Yeah, Tessa. I want to. I want to make. I want to make tough enough into a, a like a long range road trip vehicle. That would be really cool. Humble brag that trucker tan again. <laughs> it's so bad, man. That's terrible. But it's the end of summer. It doesn't matter. The historical narration by Brimo going when going through all the towns is super interesting. Off topic, you were a Dale Senior fan, right? No. No, Dale Jarrett. Dale Jarrett and Rusty Wallace are my favorite from that from that era in NASCAR. And before that, Bill Elliott. What Tessa said, but add a cellular booster to the setup. We had a booster. We had a very nice booster. It was very expensive. I always liked the McDonald's car when I was younger. Bill's from Dawsonville? Hell yeah, man. I liked Mark Martin, too. I liked all the Fords, guys. I didn't. I hated the Chevys. I hated Jeff Gordon. I hated Tony Stewart. Smoke's cool, though. I like him. And Jeff Gordon's all right, too. Dale Jarrett was the one I are, uh, I, I, uh, rooted for the most, though. Me and my dad. The, uh, the Ford Quality. The Ford QC car is the car we always rooted for. I liked it. I liked this car because it was 88, and 88 is the year that I was born, and it was a Ford. Stewart was great. Oh, Smoke's the... Dude, he's a hell of a driver, dude. Smoke's cool. I like I like him. We back. We are back. And we got a number one victory royale. And I, uh, you know, I got a really nice truck. And, and, you know, I got a you know, future waifu out of it, too. My pick is pretty cool. I have, to say I, I have to say I made out pretty good. I thought you were older than me. I was born in 1988. What about John Force? Force is all right. We got a number one victory, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, there actually Brimo. Yeah, Brimo posted this. There's pictures of Ernock and I uh, working on the truck really late at night. Great success. Hey Dougie, what's going on, man? Yeah, dude, we spent a lot of late nights in that damn parking lot. That's what, that's all the stuff that we pulled. We pulled the bench, bumper, tailgate. Tailgate insert, extra hinges, all the nuts and bolts, the towing package. I still have that can of PB in my breaker bar, man. Heck yeah. That's the donor truck. Should have pulled that axle, man. I, I should have pulled that stupid axle out of there. <laughs> oh, we could have. It was right there. I was contemplating it, but I didn't do it. <laughs> 154 the heck out of that trip. Yeah, man. Or I have a HUD that, yeah, dead scum. Okay, cool. So I'm glad that you guys like it. I would love to do more of that. That I'll be honest with you. We had a lot of fun. That was a really, really, really good project. It was really fun. There's Ernok over there. Yep, we pulled it off of another 250 HD. I should have taken those badges too. Oh my gosh. Dude, you don't know how pristine this damn truck is. This truck is frigging pristine. We could I, I should have taken more parts off of it. I should have taken everything off of it. Look at that chrome bumper. I mean, look at it. None of these parts have any rust. You should have seen the rust buckets that we were pulling parts off, pats off of. Oops. The rust buckets that we were pulling parts off of in uh, in Michigan. Uh Jim, you guys you guys don't know how easy you have it, man. It's bull Dude, it is bull crap. It's bull crap. 
<sighs> the underside of that hood is clean, dude. It, it's Those sparks are pretty. Yeah, right on, man. It was a good time. I look forward to it each day. So more rent more regimented schedule. Like, okay, I have a I have another question. How would you guys feel about like a suspension cam or something? Like something where you guys can watch the suspension or like onboard diagnostics in real time? We should look into doing that. Oh, YG, I'm coming back out there. You don't understand. I'm coming back out there and I'm pulling parts. You want to come with? I'm, I'm dead serious about that. I will fly back out there, we will pull parts, and I will ship them home. I already am looking into that. Cool. Cool. G-Force and Delta V readouts, please. Dude, we could get a fuel indicator. Like, that's onboard diagnostics. How much fuel you have left. Not a roof camera that the mods can turn for chat to see stuff. Okay. A PTZ on the top, Smirks? Okay. Let's do it. You know you have a place to stay. Don't tell me that. Why'd you don't tell me that? <laughs> Full F1 telemetry? Well, with OBD, you can do it. Sure. I mean, it's OBD1, but I might have thoughts on the electronics, okay? Race Capture Pro has the ability to stream telemetry. Yeah, we should. It's OBD1, guys. It's a 90, it's 97, but it's, it was, it's a 90, it's all 96 kit. For the reals, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable, like, I thought, I'm like, oh, you know, I saw this truck. I'm like, oh, this one's pretty bad. You know, it's pretty beaten up. That's the truck I took the tailgate off of. It's pretty beaten up. You know, it's pretty beat. No, no. This was nothing compared to, dude, this truck's in really good condition compared to the ones we saw in Michigan. Onboard diagnostics, uh, John. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, put a newer EC, EC unit. Yep. Go look at the port. 96 is OBD2. Thought 96 was mandatory OBD2. Where would the port... Well, the truck's at my folks' house right now. Guys, it should be... Where, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Let's look. Where would that damn port be? It's not, it's not where it should be, guys. It's not underneath the dash on the left side. I already looked there. But, well, then again, I don't know. I guess... Port F-150 OBD port. Oh. Oh, F-250, it should be in the same spot. What the heck? Yeah, that's, that's not, that's not where it is. But then again, maybe I missed it. I didn't spend much time in the passenger seat. I'd have to go look tomorrow. Because that says that the OBD port is right there near the ashtray and the power port. Okay. Man, wow, that's what the interior looks like when it's mint? I wouldn't know anything about that. Mine's really messed up. Dude, I want to get all... Let's get the XLT trim. Let's get all the XLT trim stuff and put it on there. Yeah, no duct tape. Mine kind of looks like that. I have the cubby right there. I have a big floor shifter right here, though. And then I have a power inverter right there. I ripped the cigarette lighter harness out and I, I wired a power inverter to it. <laughs> it works. It works great. You can make the bed into a bed so you can take it off-roading and camping and stuff. Yeah, maybe. Need better electrical? Yeah, we got a lot of stuff to do. But, uh, all right. Cool. So, if it, I'll go look at that port tomorrow, guys. If it's OBD2, yeah, we'll do that. I have to go over there tomorrow anyway. Um, how many watts is the inverter? 400, JJ. You can make the bed and do it. I don't know if I want to take it off roading. It's just a four by two midget. It's a heavy duty truck. This is this truck is really designed for towing. It's the type of truck that you see like towing stuff around at Boca Chica. It's not really an overlanding truck. It, it would need four by four to do that. Maybe I mean maybe we could put it. If it's OBD two, it's basically plug and play into a Raspberry Pi. 
Well, if it is, a, yeah, I have to go looking around for that port, dude. If it's OBD2, yeah, and that port is right there, it'd be really easy to pu plug that in. Put a camper shell on it. I did run wires from the battery directly for the inverter with an inline kill switch, so not as to lose the signal on startup. I mean, yeah, that would be a good idea. I don't think so, Jam. No. Yeah, we're gonna... I, I would prefer to go through the fuse box, John. Just for good reason. But then again, the inverter does have a fuse box built in. It has 35 amp fuses in there. See last pulls. What's up, Squish? Hey, I haven't had time to keep up with the stream over the last few days. Last I saw you were riding with Dadmo to Detroit with Primo and Mommo following. Summary events since then. Either way, good to see your home. Thanks, man. Um... Uh, yeah, that that shot of Ernok and I working on the truck. I'm the light guy in that in that shot. Pretty pretty sweet. Uh, so Squish, we we nursed it to Detroit, and we fixed the brakes. We fixed all the parts that were broken. We opened up the diff and found that. You could build out an enclosed trailer as a camper. Yeah, something like that, Maz. That 12 volt outlet, if it's on a 20 amp circuit, will only do 240 watts. The power port is on a 35 amp fuse, RB. The cigarette lighter is on a 15 or which. The cigarette lighter is on a 15 amp fuse, which explains our power problems. I looked at that today. We'd have to run a bigger fuse. Or, yeah, I'd have to, yeah, I'd have to wire it somewhere else. I did see the picture of the open diff on Twitter. Yeah, the self clearancing open diff. I'm thinking though, say what you want. This and your other cars too. For some of those, you'd have to tap into the sensors directly, but Drummer and I were thinking of ways to make that work too. Goal would be to easily swap a stream box between vehicles. That would be cool, weather guy. Yeah. Yeah, self machining diff. Niff, that diff in that condition did 2,000, well, I don't know when it broke. I'll be honest with you. It felt like an open diff the entire ride, but I didn't want to say anything because I don't know what driving around in a welded diff is like because I've never done that. Uh, that diff could have potentially been in that condition the entire thing. I think that bump, the bump in New Mexico, I think is what broke the welds, if I had to guess. But who knows? Uh, e either way, um, dude, I know for a fact that that diff did basically from Venita, Oklahoma. Well, actually, I, I don't know that for sure. It may have broke after that, but it did Detroit to Boston, man. Swap the carrier out for an actual spool. Chikor, can you imagine spool? Dude, that thing has 410 gears in it. 410. I, I'm kind of like, put a spool in there with a 410, dude. We could pull tree stumps. We could pull tree stumps with it right now. Yeah, Niff, that's true. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, Jay. Interesting. Suit of my Jeep and Ranger. Four tens, bro. The thing's a freaking tank, dude. I love this thing. Tough Enough is an awesome truck. I want to, like, uh, I still want to kind of, I don't know. Maybe we should both have limited slip and 4x4. Four four. Good man. Unless you were hooning it, you wouldn't notice a lock diff unless you were taking turns and felt the wheel hop. Yeah. It's John Innsbrucker's birthday today. That's cool. Hey, Benno. What's going on? I I can't believe how well that truck took the punches, dude. Guys, I, I knew something bad was going to happen on that trip. You, they, they beat the trash out of that truck. But I'll be honest with you. Here's the thing. I was thinking something was bad was going to happen with the engine. I said that on stream like multiple times. I'm like, the, the, motor's, the motor's probably tired. We're probably going to have problems with it. It was either that or the welded diff. And I was kind of, 
I mean, I'm kind of halfway right there. Not going to keep the F2 shitty name. It, no, I'm, I'm not going to make it F2 shitty anymore. It's going to be a better name. You got lucky? Nah, I don't think so. It's a good truck, man. Do you still have that bottle of rancid fuel? I do. It's sitting It's sitting in the bed of the truck. Inside of a Ziploc bag with the fuel filter. F2 Swifty. Yeah, right. I want to call it tough enough. <laughs> F2 Lifty. <laughs> Heck no, the whole truck will disintegrate around that engine before that engine dies. I, Jason, I just can't believe how stout that 351 is. It's perfectly healthy. They had the, who had that damn engine pegged on the rev limiter for like five minutes straight? There's not many engines that'll do that. You saw them do the plywood burnouts. Fu fifty. I like that one. Will that fuel lead through the plastic bottle? It hasn't done it yet. I'll put it in a glass bottle or something later. Nah, I call it Control F four. No, it's tough enough. Because the truck just keeps on going, man. Freshly tuned up, as in an Italian tune-up. Let me see G Corp. <laughs> yeah, boy! Ha <laughs> ha! Nice. Hang on, I gotta. We gotta listen to this noise. Do we have sound here? Oh, no sound. Shame. Nice, dude. Good little burn out there. How much would a caravan trailer set you back? I don't know. I got to put the tow hitch back on. The F-154. I don't know. Tough Enough is a good name for it. Speaking of car work, I did the rear rotors and pads on the Mustang. Whoever designed that crappy cube to rotate the pistons can have bad things happen to them. Yeah, I've done, dude, I've done a brake job on mine too. It's a pain in the butt. And here I was suggesting the F-154. Those engines between 82 and 97 were the best engines Ford ever made. And probably the best anyone's ever made. I'm honestly surprised the power steering pump didn't go out in the trip. The power steering pumps whine. They whine. Every Ford power steering pump whines. And it just never breaks. My Mustang's whines too. Same thing. The FU-50. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, W, right? <laughs> like Twitch chat, yeah. Six one nine. Sorry, I didn't have time to get down there to you, dude. I knew we were, yeah. I knew we were gonna have problems, so I kind of the fu two fifty. <laughs> Any trailer would need to fit a mobile setup. Yeah, that'd be really cool. I'm debating throwing the electric steering rack in the EO six and deleting the hydraulic power steering system. It's not a bad idea. Niff, I'll tell you, I drove around the Mustang today because I was moving cars around. Going from the truck with that, Z, that ZF547, basically a, a box truck transmission, down, back to the Tremec, the 3650, felt really weird, man. The Mustang shifts felt so crisp compared to the truck. The truck is like clutch in and then you have a throw like that's a mile long. <laughs> NCC154, yeah, that, that's a good one. I like tough enough. Formerly the F2, F2 shitty. It's the truck formerly known as F2 shitty. Yeah, and that's on the crappy rear mount shift. Yeah, right? You need that leverage for a truck, though. Dude, it's got a bus transmission in it. Like I said, this, this, this truck's a tank. That engine... I, I thought, guys, I thought we would have problems with the engine and the transmission. It's a five-speed. And they, they, like... I thought the, the clutch... Nothing. No problems from the clutch. Nothing. The clutch never, never made a sound the entire trip. Nothing. It never slipped once. And they were doing burnouts in this thing. The engine pegged on the rev limiter. No problem. Doesn't care. You're right, Jason. 
The engines that Ford made in the 90s in the trucks, the 4.9, the 5.0, the 5.8, and the, what is it, 7.6, the 460. So the 300 inline, right? The 300 inline, the 302, the 351, and the 460 are literally some of the best engines ever made. You're right. They're really good. It's 76 uh, overdrive, Gordo. What you need because it's a towing truck is a camper trailer. Yep. Clutch is what I was worried about. Yeah, winter scythe. The clutch didn't... Nothing. No problems. Nothing. No problems from the transmission. I was downshifting and upshifting that thing all day. The engine, no problems. Doom and I fixed the vacuum lines and the engine was fine. I, I can't believe how well made it is. It, it, like, dude... It's got a hundred. That that drive line has hundred and seventy thousand miles on it, man. That's not. That shouldn't do that. Ford made good engines back then. Look at all the Crown Vic interceptors and look at how long they lasted. Yeah, that's right. When will DOS be up to mount a RoboCam on it? One hundred and seventy k minimum. Tesla. It's it's unbelievable. That's why we're calling this truck tough enough. It's tough enough to drive across the country after being abused. Inline engines are the best. Oh, Jay, wow. we, uh, me and Primo's dad found two 4.9s on in trucks that were rusted out in Michigan, but the 4.9s were cherry, dude. Kind of want to go pull one and build one, but it's like a Soviet tank engine. Major, yeah, unbelievable. I think I could get the license plate F2 shitty. Nah, it's the truck formerly known as the F2 shitty. What did you do with the exhaust? Uh, Joey Blue Skies helped me. Well, he did it. He did the he did the exhaust repairs. Doom. We we <laughs> pipe expander, some sleeves, some exhaust sealer, and more of those. More of the uh, uh, the roll of exhaust mounting equipment. It sounds great, though. The exhaust sounds fantastic. Joey Blue Skies did a great job. He's not even an exhaust guy. For your Raptor, nice. Congrats on the engagement. Thanks, man. So no mufflers? Oh, it has mufflers on it. We Yeah, no, the Magnaflows are back on there, dude. Who came up with a V-shaped engine? Ford. Ford was the first mass production V8 with the flathead. Stripe pipes out the back? Maybe. I don't know. Did they ever put up the video you buy in the truck? I don't know, TD. They said they wanted to do more stuff, so that's good. Were those even mufflers? They were glass packs. They they, they were they were they were glass packs. They're Magnaflow glass packs. Yeah, RB, the 4.9. I would like to do a 4.9 build. Not not in the not in tough enough, but uh, yeah, I think the truck driving all the. I really wouldn't rename a truck like that, especially after who named it. But the uh, but I think the truck earned a rebadging. It earned a rechristening. Tough enough. Yeah, I want to get it like uh, the name like pinstriped on the side. That would be really cool. Have you fully recovered from the trip? Nah, Desert Eagle. Desert Eagle, I, I did drive out through Arizona, man. Through Northeast Arizona, dude. It's frigging awesome. I love it. I loved every second of it. It was amazing. It's amazing as I thought it would be, dude. You fixed it. It's yours. Yep, tough enough, man. Yeah, maybe Tessa. Who knows? It yeah, it has to be spelled tough enough. E N U F F. Yeah, Desert Eagle was awesome, dude. We drove we drove right up to uh, we here. I'll show you where we went. Uh, we were up here. Kenta, yeah, or Kenta, yep, 
Drove all up in here, man. One of the prettiest drives I've ever seen, ever. We drove all the way up here, through there, through there, all the way down. It was, it was beautiful. And we got reception until Kayenta. True. Uh, tr not true. We got reception until Kayenta. Gotcha. Good to hear. Very beautiful out there. Congratulations. Thanks, bro. Yeah. Kick butt trip, dude. Did you end up getting to see the meteor crater? Nah, Squish didn't get around to it. But yeah, we were all up in here. Drove all through there. It's pretty. One of, one of the prettiest parts of the country that I've ever seen. Hello? Hey! Jack, give it this up, Desert Eagle. There you go. Right on. What's the stream plans for the rest of the week? Resume the normal schedule tomorrow, dudes. Yeah, I got it. Actually, Chuck, thank you very much. Desert Eagle's a good buddy of mine. Yeah, I'm just going to start the... Start to stream up tomorrow. What do we want? I mean, what do you guys want to play for early hours? Maybe Far Far Cry? I don't know. Like, what do we uh, What do we do? Like, it's it's gonna take me a second to snap back into it. You know, KSP. Okay, I had a feeling that was coming. All KSP. All KSP. Twenty four hour space news. Large SSDO first launch thing. Okay. Well, Counter Strike. Oh yeah, I was playing Counter Strike. Foo Face. I remember that. Did you try the original KSP developer's new game? Felipe's game, Roscoe? Balsa? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Doing a probe. <laughs> How about ATS? I, 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 I think, I think, I think I'm all right. <laughs> Build tough enough in beam. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Battlefield 2043 is open beta right now. Oh, I might try that, RB. Just so I can laugh at the rocket. You know what I'm talking about. Whatever you want to play, man. Yeah, give me... Yeah, so tomorrow we'll do that. But yeah, guys, it was an awesome trip. So there's plenty of stuff to work on for, for Route 154s in the future. Uh, and yes, I, I think there was enough... I think there was enough... Uh, enthusiasm from chat to want to do another project like this. So. Icarus Beta has another beta weekend starting tomorrow. That's what I'm doing, Draco, for early hours. I'll tell you what, man. I miss the beta weekend. Yeah, pins, right? Just throwing it out there. I'd love to help on future Route 154. Get coordinate with drummer weather guy, dude. Let's do it. How about, dude? How about, how about we find a way to have a real time weather forecast on the stream, dude? Maybe we could do a Route 154 where we storm chase. I'm not doing that. I, I don't have the stones to go and drive near a tornado. Yeah, viewer figures look pretty solid. 400 plus whenever you looked. Not bad, considering it's a complete content change for the channel. No, I'm not completely changing my content. I'm tell I'm saying that Route 154 is completely different. Never done anything like that. I think museums and hiking would be an awesome add-on. Okay. Yeah, I know, RV. It's ridiculous. Can you keep the Route 154 merch open for a couple more weeks? I was thinking another week, John, and then we'll... I want it to be like a one-time thing because what if I repaint the truck? Then that logo doesn't exist anymore. We're going to have to do another Route 154 logo with a, with a different truck. Two weeks, please. Waiting for next Friday. Just for you. For you. Grimo can be your Helen Hunt while you chase down tornadoes. Yeah, as long as you don't steal Dorothy. How big is the box? Eight foot box. Uh, Desert Eagle, it's a, dude, it's a nice truck. It's a California truck, man. No rust. It's a friggin' unicorn. Desert, you knew about this project, right? I drove this thing from Compton, California, back to Massachusetts. 
The sound in that movie was amazing. Agreed. That makes you Bill Paxton? Dude, I'll dude, I'll be Bill Paxton. That's fine. It's a freaking sweet truck. Fun fact, you can see Dorothy at the National Weather Center in Norman, Oklahoma. I, I want to go explore more of Oklahoma weather, guys. Is that weird? Is that weird? I saw a little bit of it. I want to go look at more. No, they have good barbecue. All right, sweet. I like Oklahoma. I want to prove to people that Oklahoma is cool. I don't know why. I just, I really want to do that. I have, I have... I have roots there, or I left my mark on it, or something like that. Fold the maps! <laughs> I say leave the two-tone, but it's your truck. What if we did a high boy on it, Jaywa? What do you think about this? Your Ford high boy special. What do you think about... What do you think about that? Bubba Tub! 20 month resub. We did a high boy special on it. Looks like it's easy to wrap. You got family in Oklahoma? Right on. I'll keep an eye out for, <laughs> for your scraps on 44 the next time I'm up that way. Do it. See if you can find the lug nuts, Dave. I would, gl uh, dude, I will, I will, I will pay for shipping if you can find them. The red cap white bed has become iconic, though. I agree. Please understand that was a joke. Hi, boy, but just the front. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Did you watch that clip I made? No, I haven't gotten around to it, Tessa. Visit Jim B's hometown. I drove right through it, Swish. I drove through Tulsa. Jim was actually Jim's actually born in Michigan. Yeah. Don't forget the drum. I did get the drum back, RB. I got the drum back. I went and... I didn't stream this for uh, pretty obvious reasons. I didn't stream this. I uh, I ran out onto a highway and got the drum back. Yeah, this truck should be red, white, and blue. Yeah, there's that, or there's the uh, the, the high boy is cool. I like the high boy special. That's a really cool, and that's very similar to the two tone that we have right now. It's very close. I work on the highway, so meh, I made sure nobody was coming. The roads out there are extremely straight. So you could see a long way down the road, and I just waited until there was a gap. It's a 4x2. Gotta go with a Baja-style dune runner. <laughs> I was thinking that two-tone would be cool if we, uh... But I do like it this way. This way is cool. The red and white with the silver, that's actually pretty neat. I, the other thing I was thinking is just mechanically make this truck like 100% and just keep it. Just keep it looking like that. The bed is a little scratched up and I don't... It's down to bare metal. I don't want it to rust. So we might have to repaint it either way. With blue stars on the top. Maybe I'll paint the silver part blue. We'll paint the silver part blue or something. Wow, just scam my sub, huh? Welcome home, dork. Oh, thanks. Where the blowout happens. All right, Tesla, let me see. Yeah, we stopped like right there. Oh, geez. Oh. Uh. No, you haven't gotten to where it stopped yet? I stopped right by this guardrail. Right? It, we stopped right there.
Huh. Yeah, did you see the did you see the scuff marks in the road? The wheel stopped. Look like right here. Hold on. Bro. Nope. Next one. Oh. All right. Are you sure? Enhanced. Let's see. No, dude, we no. No, 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 no. It was back there, dude. I've been there. Like It was here. It was right it was right there. Right right here is where we stopped. Right before that. So that means back here. Where's that skid? The tire stopped. Did you see that? There's skid marks on the road, but it's like, Err! those marks you saw were probably brake brake fluid when it smacked. Yeah. Oh yeah, the audio sucks, guys. Yeah, we'll work. We'll work on the audio, fellas. Oh, Jesus, what the hell happened here? Uh... The audio was really low the whole trip. Got gotcha. Can we side by side? I don't want to watch that, Manji. <laughs> I don't want to watch that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, Bill. I don't know. That's a strange one. Guys, if the diff had nothing to do with it, like, it's either the diff locked or or the lug nuts. God, lug nuts don't back out like that. I, I, I checked them. I checked them in Santa Fe, dudes. I checked. They were fine. So glad to be back. Yeah, Tan. Not really happy with the Red Sox game, but that's another story. Yeah, order. Yeah. Need to check that tire again for a flat spot. Yeah. Chirping it like that is not going to leave a flat spot, but. How many games are in the series? It's in ALDS, so five, I think. Trop is being Trop. Yeah, that bullcrap home run. Oh, it hit it hit the top, so it's a home run. It's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. Could the diff lock and then the impact of you hitting the ground break it free? Don't know. Over tightening the lugs can weaken the studs. Yeah, I know not to stretch the bolts though, Hellfish. Not to, like. Drop again to feel this trash. Thank you. Hey, Max. Welcome back. Thanks, man. I don't know. If it's not the diff, then... If it's not the diff, then th then that means driving on that bumpy... On Route 66, so the bumpy road must have backed a, lug, a, backed a lug nut up. Backed a lug nut out enough for it to be... Uh, for, for the lugs to come loose. It's the only other thing I could think of. I would replace the wheel bearings too because of contamination. Yeah. So you noticed something happened and just kept driving. Did 
that what who are the Sox playing Tampa driving on a prayer um how's the other truck 59 it's almost done as an eagle it's close to being finished I'm telling you guys, 10 to 15 seconds before it happened, I noticed a noise. And it's it's not a noise that I've ever heard from a car, ever. It was like a rumble. It was the same type of... It was a low-frequency vibration. And it was probably the tire doing this on the hub. If that's probably what I heard, it doing this. The tire wiggling around on the studs before it ripped them off completely. Um... I've never heard a car make that noise before. It, it was like that noise. Did the stream pick it up? People said they were listening to it. Yep. Yeah, it's in for sure. It was a low frequency rumble. Confirm those skid marks are not yours. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. It's very strange. So those marks were there in the other footage? Hmm. Or you were hearing the welds break loose in the diff, yeah. It's gotta be lugs, like, it's gotta be. Yeah, but I, I tightened them in Santa Fe, but I don't know what would back out the lugs that much, enough, enough for the tire to completely go. Never heard of that before. But then again, Santa Fe is about 600 miles, you know, prior to where it failed. Yeah, overdrive, interesting. If you tightened then, then they were tight. Yeah, Bill, no doubt. But you, I would have heard that. I would have heard that the entire time, dude. It's so strange. Don't, don't, don't you hear? You'd think I would notice the lugs backing out. I would have seen the tire doing this in my rearview mirror or the side mirror, right? Like. Yeah, Admiral, interesting. You would have known. I would have felt that. You guys would have heard it. You guys would have heard that. I mean, even though well, maybe the audio being low, maybe you wouldn't have. It's the it's strange, dude. It's a strange thing. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I don't know what happened. I guess we'll never know. I mean, everything is pointing to lugs, but that doesn't make any sense. But yeah, I'll never we'll never get it. It's like yeah, Warder said it already. As long as nobody's heard, who cares? That's what scared me the most. Believe it or not, believe it or not, I, I had complete control of the truck. You guys saw the footage. I, I was in, I got it. It was, I was, that, that part didn't freak me out. Seeing my tire bounce down the road and almost hit another car, that's what scared me. Because there's nothing I can do about that. Is it possible that when the hoodies are doing burnouts with them or something? Like that? Yeah, maybe heavy metal. Yeah, maybe I tightened them too much. Maybe I over torqued them after they were stressed out from the plywood burnouts. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, Kelly. Maybe maybe the exhaust was too loud, but dude, I'm telling you, that noise. That noise, I knew something was up when I heard that noise. Maybe the diff exploding and fixing itself caused the tire to come off. Yeah, but that doesn't make any sense. That's the thing. The diff is definitely screwed up, and I can't the welds failed at some point. I don't know when they failed. I didn't feel it if they did. I think the studs were just weakened, whether by Hoonigan or years of abuse beforehand. Did you open the diff in Los Angeles? No, Yarg, I didn't. You think you should replace the studs on the passenger side? Yeah, maybe. Also, thanks for tipping for Drummer Day, guys. This this UI is actually really cool. I haven't seen it kind of working.
Yeah, that's pretty neat. Scumbag Labs, Jaywa. Yeah, Drummer did a great job. Did you intentionally loosen the bolts to get a good clip? Yeah. I would intentionally have my tire go flying down the highway. Yeah, farm strange. I mean, you guys are right. Everything is pointing towards lugs, but... Some people will do anything for views, yeah, because that's what I care about here on this stream, right? My theory is that the threads weren't in good shape on the studs. They were probably kind of cross-threaded, so they would have felt tight when checking. I mean the the guys at the guys at the shop on 28 the, and the tow truck driver. He's like, "What did you do?" I'm like, "I, dude, I don't know." They're like, "You didn't notice this?" I'm like, "No," and I have video evidence of it. You know, like, it's very strange. What you drinking? You got a Guinness. This is a Guinness that a viewer bought for me and gave to me in Compton. I, I, I kept one bottle of it, and I said I would drink it when I got home. What if the dip locked the tire and caused sudden forces that sheared the lugs off? Yeah, but chaotic doesn't make that doesn't make any sense because that means why would the spider gears jam? I mean that was the running theory, but. That's what, I mean, that's what it looks like. That's what that hogged out tire looks like. It looks like the hub stopped spinning and the wheel kept going. Yeah, that's definitely a strange one, dudes. I, I think, Bill, Bill, I think you're right, dude. I think, I think, I think you're correct. I, that's gotta be it. It's gotta be that they were cross-threaded and I didn't notice. Let me see, Dave. Yeah, yeah, okay. Cars lock tires all the time and they don't fall off. Yeah, that's why the diff thing doesn't make any sense. I don't think there would be any way to tell. They would look fine and feel tight. Yeah. The noise you heard could have been the metal bouncing against the diff gears before finally jamming and stopping the diff. The pothole could have broken the weld. Things are slotted. How does that even happen? Dude, the, even the guys at the shop on 28, the guys in Adair, the, the shop that helped me press the new studs, that pressed the new studs in, they couldn't figure it out either. They're like, what the frick did you do? I've never seen this happen before. Tow truck driver? No idea. I'm like, how could this have happened? And the tow truck driver is like, man, I don't tell you anything will happen. I don't think we're wheels. You notice that on the truck and got to take care of it, man. Yes, he did sound like that. No, I understood it. He sounded like Gerald. He was a, he was a Gerald from like Clarkson's farm. No, the guy was cool. He, he's like, I'm like, what could cause that? He's like, loose lugs? I'm like, yeah, exactly, Kelly. Brimo couldn't understand him. That was That's what was funny. <laughs> Brimo couldn't understand him. I speak tow truck driver, can confirm. I got out and I'm like, hey, how you doing? And he's like, he looked at the he, dude. I, I I got out. I said, "Hey, thank you for doing this. How are you today?" And he goes. He looks at the truck. He looks at his tow truck. And he looks at me. He goes, "Better than you." I'm like, <laughs> "Why? Why? Stop it! <laughs> Stop it! Stop being a stereotype! Stop it, Mister Tow Truck Man!" Yeah, he goes, "Well, better than you." I'm like that. 
Thanks, bro. <laughs> no, that guy was cool. We ended up talking on the on a ride back. He's a good dude. He's got a uh, guy has this guy has a seventy F one hundred with a three ninety in it, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I, I started laughing because I was just I'm like you. Yeah, uh -huh. got him. I'm like, thanks, man. I didn't really need that right now, but all right, you know. <laughs> so stupid. No, it's funny. That's what I. That's that's what I mean. People from Oklahoma are candid as hell, but they're really nice. You know, like, <laughs> hey, he got out of the truck. He looks at looks at my truck. Uh, how you doing? Looks at the truck. Looks at his truck. Looks at me. Man, better than you are. I'm like, thanks, thanks man. Uh, you guys came close to me on your trip and didn't go to Cortez. Yeah. What's that? Tesla moves its headquarters from California to Texas. Oops. Can we stroke out the 351 to 400? We should, Hellfish. We should do that. We should. Uh, we should make it make all the torques. Yeah, no, the guy's cool. I told him about what I was doing, and uh, I told the shop guys about it, too. And I'm like, you know, I slapped this thing together in a parking lot, and they were like, oh, wow, okay, it's made it thus, it's made it this far? Wow, that's pretty good. And I'm like, stroke 351 is usually 408. Bill, it, did you change your name? Because the other, okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta ask Bill. Are you the per You said you were there with me. You, oh, we're with you the entire time, and you talked about my Honda with the transmission. Are you who I think you are? And you know what I mean by that. Did you show them its previous life? No, I didn't. They didn't. They didn't know. Oh, oh, yes, Mister. Yeah, okay, yeah, I got you. I got you. Yeah, you were with me that. Okay, cool. All right, yeah. How's up north? Everything good? Pretty sure we could get get it to make 500 or 500. We should. How many bills are there? There are bills everywhere. Bills are all knowing and all encompassing. All good from the north. Right on, man. Cool. Post no bills. <laughs> yeah. So, cool, man. I'm glad you were into this trip. It's pretty sweet, right? Pretty good one. Apollo 8! <laughs> I'm surrounded by bills. I'm surrounded by bills. So when you come when you come into North Dakota so I can show you the emptiness of it all. Armarillo, Texas showed me some pretty good empty. Kelly, I've never seen the Great Plains from the ground. That was the first time. Never seen them. I've never seen them in person. The furthest east that I've gone on land before this trip was Chicago. Never seen the Great Plains. And you know what, man? I'm happy that I did. Yeah, west. West? I thought you said east. No, sorry. Yeah. I've, yeah, never been to North Dakota, South Dakota. I mean, I didn't go to North Dakota or South Dakota. I've been to Texas a couple of times, but I've never driven there. Standing Constellation, where I live now, is the furthest west I've ever been. Yeah. Yeah, I've never seen the Great Plains except from an airplane, dude. And you know what? I'm really happy I went and saw it. It is cool. There's nothing out there, man. And that's, you know what? That's nice. Dude, I never mentioned this. We, uh, I never mentioned this. We, dude, this is, this made me so happy. So in Monument Valley, when I took this picture, okay, been to Billings, Montana. Nope, never been. We got out and we took this picture. And right before it started raining, it was quiet. Quiet. Like, quiet. No noise. Nothing. And, I, you know, being from the city, dude. Never seen that. There's always birds chirping or cars going down a highway or whatever. No wind, nothing. Absolute peace and quiet. And it was awesome. It was like uh, nothing but the ticking of your truck cooling down some. 
Not even that. There's nothing out there alive to make noise. It was super freaking quiet. And it was awesome. I wanted to take a video, but it started raining before I could. Why do cars tick when they cool down? It's the metal expanding and contracting in the exhaust. That tongue, t tongue, t tongue, t tongue. It's the, the exhaust cooling down. When it's cooling down, the metal is changing molecularly. It's expanding, well, it's contracting because it's cooling down. It was a perfect level moment for sure. Dude, it was nice. It was, it, that is the quietest I've ever heard. It's the quietest I've ever, uh, dude, there was no noise. It was like having noise canceling headphones on. That kind of quiet. You ever put on noise canceling headphones and you flip the switch on? You you can't hear anything? It was like that. It was awesome. It's the coolest thing I've ever seen, man. I've experienced that silence at Mountain Magazine, Arkansas. Absolutely awesome. You could hear the trucks in Valley five miles away. Yep. Yeah, it was... It sounds amazing. Dude... Everybody should everybody should hear it. It's strange. It is it's weird. It, like like I said, some from the city. I can open my window. You'll hear a highway. You'll hear the highway. You hear you hear I ninety. You hear the Mass Pike. You'll hear the cars going around on it. You, I can hear it from here. I'm not that far away. You can hear it. You can hear people revving their engine. Your dogs barking. The birds chirping. Whatever. Nothing. And it was awesome. It was like a very surreal moment. I've never heard anything that quiet. Tessa, yeah, tonight it's both here. Dude, I'm telling you, it was the strangest thing. I bet a fart would sound really loud. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, drawn strange. The only way you get that in the city is a sensory deprivation chamber. Yeah, why do you know, dude? It was weird, man. Like, I don't... I don't like to say that you can hear this picture, but you can hear it. It sounds exactly like this. And then you can hear the soft rumbling from the thunder from that storm. Yeah, it was awesome, dude. So cool. Dude, it's weird. It was like, it was the same kind of acoustics that you get in a sound room, uh, like in a recording studio. Anybody ever been in a sound room in a recording studio? It sounded like that. It was weird. Good game. Yeah. Yeah, right. Dude, I loved it. I love the Southwest as much as I thought I would. It is, it is a very cool part of the country. It's, it's not very cold. It's, well, some parts are, but yeah. I liked it as much as I thought as as much as I thought I would. Remember, land is cheap out there. Yeah, I saw it. So when are you moving to Arizona? Yeah. Boop, 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 Jim, seventy six. Spirit of seventy six. There you go. Man, it was strange. Can go a few places around here and get that silence. Yep. Just joining. I haven't popped in in a while. Hey, tweets. Congrats with Remo. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. An oppressive silence. The kind of silence you get in horror. No. No, no, Tessa. It was not that. No. It's not like horror movie calm before the storm silence. It was... About as peaceful of no... Uh, as peaceful of noise I've ever heard. It was very peaceful. Very tranquil. Very nice. Yeah, it was It was really... It didn't sound like that. <laughs> I'll road trip with you next time. Alright, man. Yeah, Thor. Yeah, there you go. It was weird, man. I, I loved it. I loved it. I loved it a lot. It was really nice. <laughs> it was really nice. Going from Maine to Arizona was a culture shock. Yeah. 
You ain't buying any land on the reservation. Nah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that farm. I wouldn't do that. I actually kind of liked Inland Empire, to be honest. YG, and I'm not just saying that because you're here. I liked it there. It's, it's not like the hustle and bustle from the city, but it's, you know, it's close enough. Do you mean your animal spirit? No. Kyron, I will say this. It was just really nice to just chill. It's very nice. It was very nice. Very peaceful. Welcome back, my friend. Congratulations and good morning. Thanks, man. Like I said, for it, I can get you all the free F-250 parts you want, but you have to come and get them and see where your F-150 was built. I'll meet you there, and we can road trip up to where mine was built. Nice. All right, John. Nothing better than going into the middle of a field after a snowstorm. It was like, it was kind of like that. That chaotic, it was kind of like that. Yeah. It was, yeah. Anybody, yeah. Anybody that's ever seen like fresh powder knows exactly what I'm talking about. It was that kind of silence. I need the 154 truck. You need tough enough and your truck in the same picture. Yep, yep. That muffled quietness. It was very nice. I, I loved it. As I explained to EJ in person, for a mountain in my area, you could be everything from a beach ski resort, actual desert, concrete jungle in one to two hours. Yeah. YG. It's cool. Nice part of California. And Baker. Obviously. Frinormous. I want another one. Can you fax me some, please? Do you have a fax machine? You might have a fax machine. YG, I'm serious. We'll... we'll Dude, we gotta we gotta like rent a pickup truck and then stockpile some parts and then ship them around. Dude, we sell those parts for good money, <laughs> or just get parts for our stuff. You know, whatever. <laughs> Except when you're walking in the snow. Truck upcoming modifications. I don't know. Should be there on full moon after they have their peyote powwow. I don't need I don't need to smoke the peace pipe, man. I don't need to do that. <laughs> Did you know that Marty from MCM bought a Gen 2 RX7? I have been way behind on the YouTube videos. All of them, Tessa. I have not had time to check YouTube. When will the F-250 be launched into space on Falcon Heavy? Yeah, I don't know. Suppose FR9 heads would fit on the 351. It's a Windsor motor. Yeah, dude, that part of the that part of the country is vastly underrated. IMO, I liked it out there. Over here, like out out here in this area, very nice, very pretty. I want to hear those headers roar. Oh yeah, well we got the exhaust headers for it, Sawyer, and it does need an exhaust system. Parts business would be a nice side hustle. I agree. Yeah, pretty cool. And I'm telling you, Cajon Pass was nuts, man. Oh, this doesn't do it justice at all. This road was so cool. I'm so happy we had connection through this whole thing. Oh, that's so legit, man. It's such a cool drive. I found natives standing out in the middle of nowhere just tripping out, really. <laughs> Oh, we should have driven 66 for this part. Yep. Drove right up that road. Anyway.
You were right by the Little League World, where the Little League World Series happens, too. Nice bookend with New York. Yeah, we went by Cooperstown, man. Too bad I was like half asleep and it was nighttime out. But yeah, turn on photos and filters now. I'm, I'm good. The UK US parts hustle would net you a good chunk of change, especially if you do it from California so you get rustless parts for the UK. Tessa, I'm telling you. Yeah. Dude, the brake drum backing plate from from the from Tough Enough, the one that got damaged, had less rust on it than the one that we pulled from Michigan from a truck that was parked for God knows how long. It was in way better condition. The bottom was missing though. Bop, bop, bop. Gods, give the sub to Exolate. Thank you. Anyway, guys. All right. So, here's what we're going to do. Tomorrow, we'll resume the regular schedule. Uh, I want to see if we can play some Icarus tomorrow. Can Brimo drive a manual? Brimo can, Brimo can stick. She can, she can, she can stiff, stick shift. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. 619, it's a theory that I have. Brimo can drive stick. Because she's from Detroit. She likes cars, whether she likes it or not. Yeah. Yeah. So, yes, she can drive stick. Yeah. See, like, I remember one time I was having a conversation with Brimo and, uh, and, I, was, I I mentioned something about cars and she mentioned like, a, she's like, oh, well, the car actually does this. I'm like, see, you like cars whether you like it or not. She's like, oh my God, I do. <laughs> it was awesome. Icarus, wasn't that next weekend? I think they're opening another one tomorrow. You got to get the shipping container and bring tough enough to the to the UK. Visit me, drummer and Madford, and load up on UK parts for the Kazi. <laughs> I'll, yeah, that, yeah. Get the XR4TI from Hoonigan, yeah. Dude, I'm, I really don't have any more space to store cars, dude. I need a base of operations. I need to go buy a warehouse or something. Just drive a car home from the UK, five head. Didn't... Uh, yeah, they, they tried that once. I don't think it worked. If you haven't heard, Michigan is joining with the Space Launch Network, Michigan Aerospace Manufacturers Association. Cool. And then go to the Netherlands and visit the Space Expo. Holy moly, have you spoken much about the Twitch hack? No. I changed the stream... Well, they changed the stream key. I'm, and I reset the password and have 2FA king, so I'm not, I'm not really worried. Yeah, crazy though. Didn't some other stuff come out of that? Like, didn't they see, like, who's in the top, like, thousand streamers or something stupid? Like, you made it. Yeah, Medisa, I made it. Salaries and payouts, we can see the pay of all streamers. So you'll see that you'll see that I, I make enough when I say you guys take care of me. I ain't kidding, you know. <laughs> Every single streamer's payout was leaked. I mean, King, I that problem is way out of my control, so I am not even gonna bother letting that one bother me. Streamers have been messing around calling themselves by their ranking numbers. In now 1575, thoughts on number two. Number two. What, what chaos? I don't know what that means. Or chaotic. Change your passwords at least. I literally just said that I did that like less than 15 seconds ago. Ooh, Miff, that's mm, cringe. Someone made a website of the top payouts. That, well, I guess you guys, if you pay your rank. Doesn't include donors, of course, since those aren't coming to Twitch. Yeah. Payout rank. Yeah, interesting, King. I don't know, man. Like, once again, this problem, that problem's way out of my control. It's not in my control. There's not much I can do about it. If you guys want to go look up that information, so be it. 
I prefer to keep that stuff kind of private. I don't, I don't like talking about money. You know how I am with that stuff. Like, I'll be honest with you, like, if you guys really, really want to know, I'm way in the hole for Route 154, but god damn, did I have fun. It was so worth it. You just finished watching Team America. It's a great, great movie. Is the F-100 road trip worthy? No, but I'll tell you, Chuck, based off of what I saw with the 97 driving it across the country, I am absolutely going to make some changes to the F-100 to make it, like, tip-top. But yeah, should be good. Should all be a tax write-off. Yeah, of course. Sad, you were close to the rank of 1540. Wait, I'm in the top, like, 1540? Really? To be fair, most people don't make money off of vacations. <laughs> Is that where I am? 1575? Really? I think it's a good thing, honestly. Transparency is good. Uh, yeah, I guess. I'm 1575. Wow. Wow. Dude, that ain't bad at all. Holy crap. Dude, I suck at this. <laughs> Bro. Not bad for a humble KSP streamer. That man. Like, that's pretty cool. <laughs> like, should I be upset about this? Like, <laughs> should I be mad? Like, like that's pretty good, man. Top 2,000? Frick yeah, dude. I'll take that. <laughs> like, I'm actually pretty happy about that. Oh, my goodness. That's way higher than I would have guessed. Yeah, that's, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm with you, Odin. I'm like, there's no way I'm in the top 5,000. <laughs> Considering there are like 50,000 partnered streamers. Jeez, dude. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, I know for the reals. That's pretty friggin' good, man. I'll take that. Damn. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, if you guys, I mean, I suppose we can look that up, do it, but yeah, dude, that's pretty friggin' good, man. I'll take that. That's fine with me. But I don't really, uh, I don't really want to continue talking about that stuff, guys. Like I said, that stuff is way out of my control. That is way above my pay grade. <laughs> I, uh, dude, I, there is literally nothing I can do about it, and so I, if there's nothing I can do about it, I'm not going to let it bother me. There's no point in doing that. 50,000 partner streamers in... I'm going to stream at least a month. Massive congrats. You're in the top 0.01%. Holy crap. That's... Dude, when you say it like that. You're awesome. Provide great content. We love you. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Might as well laugh about it. 1575, though? Bro. Let's go, dude. That's... Man, that's like a huge ego boost. And you got to be careful with that, man. You got to be careful. You've seen it. You know exactly what I'm talking about. It's really easy for a streamer to, to not put their ego in check. Dude, I, I literally have that written on my wall to make sure that I don't, don't get too full of myself, dude. You think I'm kidding? Oh, you can't see it. Those signs say stay humble, discipline equals freedom, and take ownership of everything. Yeah, I have it written on my wall to make sure that I don't get too full of myself. That's right, YG. Jocko. Those are Ricky numbers. You gotta push for number one, bro. There's no way we're gonna get to number one with space content. <laughs> I mean, that would be lovely, but... Don't get too full of yourself. There's a zero missing at the end of that number. I guess. The broadcast scoreboard for this game is weird. Yeah, YG, you know it. Take ownership of everything, dude. Fuel pump took a dump. Good. We found a garage and we fixed that problem. We were ready to go the next day, bro. It's a really good, really good motto to live by.
If you want to reduce that ego a bit, consider that YouTube is much larger than Twitch. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Ray's just still home. That's embarrassing. Ooh. Ooh. That's <laughs> anyway. All right, guys, that was a fun talk, fun little chit chat. We'll uh, we're gonna resume. Oh, he did steal home. Jesus Christ! I don't care about the numbers. I care that my friend is doing well with what he does because he does it well. Thanks, Jason. Yeah, guys, I'll be honest. I mean, like, if you want to go look that stuff up, go ahead. It's it is what it is. I mean, like I said, there's nothing I can do about it. Streaming tomorrow? Yep. You know? It kind of sucks, but I ain't going to let it bother me. Let's just keep going. We set all my passwords pretty much everywhere. Uh, just in case. Just happy and proud, dude. You awesome do content. You kick butt on Route 154. Thanks, man. I'm just, you guys, nobody cares about the number until you make tons or can't pay the bills. Yeah. Yeah, right. Guys, yeah. I'm just trying to make my way, and I'm just trying to. Just trying to get by, just like everybody else, dude. You know, people say it's a glamorous job. I mean, yeah, it's fun. It's a pretty awesome job, but it does take a lot of work. But see, like, here's the thing. Here's the thing about streaming. It's an easy. It's not. A, it's not that bad of a job. But you cannot get comfortable. If you get comfortable with streaming, you're gonna fail, badly. That's why I wanted to try this. That's why I wanted to try this different flavor of content, and people apparently do like it. So. I am a hundred percent squeaky clean on my on my taxes, Spartan. I don't screw around with that. Don't screw around with money. Bad idea. <laughs> second part of that, second part of that, don't screw around with other people's money. Yeah, bad idea. Third part of that, don't screw around with Uncle Sam's money. Also a bad idea. I've been watching EJ for like eight years and I'm just happy to see him keep streaming. Thanks, Chaotic. Right on. Looking tan, man. Thank you. Thank you. Still want to do a camper for that thing once you get a mechanically sound. I'm totally in. All right, man. All right, man. Well, that means I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to drive it up to you, dude. I, look, if we get like the hubs and everything all figured out, like I get that thing. Uh, uh, like I'm honestly probably just gonna do like wheel bearings on it and stuff, and just make sure the brakes are tip top. I would not hesitate to drive that truck, turn around and drive that truck all the way back. I, it'll make it. At least the engine and the transmission will, as long as it has an oil change. You're doing good. Thanks, farmer. Uncle Sam will put you in jail. That's right. Not talking anything about you, but seeing the income of other streamers near your rank, we do you well. Glad to see you get what you deserve for the good content. Yeah, Slackster, but here's the thing. I, you guys, I always have said, and I've always been pretty damn honest about it. You guys take very good care of me. You guys hit way above your pay grade in, in delivering on that front. But I do not take that to heart. Absolutely not. I'm very, 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 very passionate about that. I don't take that to heart. You guys pay me, I work more. Simple as that. I want to earn it. And those numbers reflect that. I earn it. I earn what I get. Nothing is expected. I earn your sub. I don't get. I don't ask for it. And I never will. You know? Just wish I could have met you for lunch in Cortez. Uh, next time, farm. Next time I'll do. I'll have. We'll we'll figure out meetups and stuff because that's something that people really wanted. <laughs> well, EJ, my Buick was built in Cali, so yep, yep. For streamers, it may not be what everybody wants to hear, but it's often personality driven, you, and you have an audience for a lot of different things you might want to do. Yep, yep. 
So, uh, EJ, idea for you down the road. Maybe at some point you and Brimo could full-time travel. Get yourselves a setup that would allow both of y'all to work from the road. Well, if Brimo goes remote, then maybe. I don't know. They're, they're kind of still on the fence. You should advertise more. <sighs> I know. Jeez, oh, Lundfrod. Uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, should advertise more? I don't like doing that, dude. I don't like... I won't... I don't... I know there are other ways to do it, but... I don't, I don't like, I don't, and I'm trying to get better at it. I'll be honest with you. It's, I don't like advertising. I don't like doing it. I want my stream to, I want the stream's content to be the advertisement. What does Brima do for work? She works in software. Jaywa. Join a stream group? No. So I can, so I can have my, so I can have my success, uh, or somebody can attach themselves. Nah, screw that. I don't want to join a stream team. I really don't. I don't. Dude, like. And this isn't about me being a greedy jerk either. It's not. It, I want to make my own way. You know what I mean? That's why I've never. I mean, there's rocket jockeys. Yeah, but that's just kind of for fun. Yeah, Miff. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to hitch my wagon to something like that, dude. That's the right way to say it. Ammunition, yep. You're in a good place, stay as you are. Yeah, guys, I'm not changing. You guys know me. I'm a stubborn asshole. I'm not changing. Screw that. I won't change that. The hell with that. I'm not changing anything. Typical mass resident. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And I'm Italian on top of that. Ethnically, so yeah, I'm just ultra stubborn. Minecraft is on Saturdays, Dev. Who runs the Rocket Jockey Twitter anyways? Calty does. They're a stubborn patriot. Actually, you change your beard and hair every six months. You know, you told me about the trucker thing, Fire Fistus, so I'm just going to let that one go, okay? Can't believe it. I'm surrounded by... Keep firing, assholes! Yeah, right. I kept doing that throughout the night, dude. I don't know if you noticed. A lot of guys said thank you. Some of them didn't. Some of them tried to run me off the road. And I flipped that guy off. Oh, yeah. You guys can see where I turned the do turned the dome light on. Guess what that was for? <laughs> I had some choice things to say to that trucker that almost ran me off the road last night. Yeah, YG, something like that. I do hope this experience gives you some confidence to try new things with the stream. A little bit, Cappy. Yeah, absolutely. What trucker thing? There was a lane merge because there was a they were working on the medians last night on the road in, in on the roads in Massachusetts, Tessa. And uh, I'm trying to merge into the one lane that's there, and a truck comes barreling through construction zone at 80 miles an hour, and I saw him coming, so I steered the truck back to the right, almost went right through the cones. Guy just kept going. Oh, I pulled up to him. I pulled up to him and turned the dome line on and went. Luckily, that's when we lost video. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When did you get home? Last night at about 3 a.m. It's real nice. Got a Walmart. It was on sale. Yep. Yeah. Even my dad saw it. My, I talked to my dad about it this afternoon. He's like, what the heck was that truck doing? He almost killed you. I'm like, yeah, I know. Oh, I said, I, I made sure he noticed. I saw, I pulled up next to him. I saw him look over and I, I reached across Brimo and I went, boom, right there, baby. And the guy went, <sighs> and he just kind of kept going. I'm like, yeah, you know what you did, dick. I sweat. The longer the trip, the closer to home stuff like that happens. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, the vast majority of truckers that I was driving around with are really cool. They were really cool. They, they, you know, like, I get out of their way. They stay out of my way. It's fine. There's a couple of them that are jerks like that one, Jaywa. Yeah, I couldn't believe that. But then again, I don't know if, you know, to be honest, I don't know if that guy's brakes were on fire. His brakes could have been on fire. Maybe he couldn't have stopped. Oh, Tessa, you're that kind of person. Gross. He would have honked if he couldn't stop. Okay, so he was just a jerk. All right, sweet. Good to know. 
Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap it up for the night. Regular stream starts tomorrow. Uh, regular stream schedule resumes tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoyed Route 154. I am going to work more on this truck. He said moron. <laughs> it, it needs a better exhaust. I need to work on the acoustics inside of the truck. I'm honestly, I'm going to take this whole thing apart and I'm going to sound deaden the trash out of everything and replace all the seals. I think that's what needs to be done to give give us a little better sound so we can get better acoustics inside of the truck. I enjoyed my stay. There you go. Dynamat, let's go, pretty much. What, you took a photo there? Yeah, Ford's, Ford's World Headquarters, man. The truck, this truck was designed in this building. Yeah, it was designed right there. I mean, it wasn't built here. This is a Mexico truck, but it's a damn good truck. I'm, I'm proud to say that I own a truck that was built there. Tampa Bay dropped a pop fly. Base is loaded. All right, let's go. Should make a time lapse of your trip? I'll try to, Lenprod. And a good Magnaflow. Well, those are Magnaflows on it, but yeah, I know what you mean. I'm not... Roblox, I have a rule. I have a rule about cars. And this rule is because of Freb. My rule is that you do not take that thing apart unless you have the replacement part literally in your hand. Do not take a vehicle apart unless you have the replacement part in your hand. That's my rule. Hey, Snake, what's going on? Welcome back and congrats. Thank you very much, man. I, I appreciate it. But yeah, actually, you know what? Speaking of that, hold on. Uh... We don't want another Freb, indeed. Yeah, check that out. Calty was making gifts of the uh, of us driving around. The gimbal, the gimbal's leaning with it. Oh, that's so funny. That's when we were going through Toledo. You didn't have a rear hub and brake assembly in your hand. Thanks. There is from the ending of the stream last night. I was like, we did it! I'm out! <laughs> Later! And then I kissed Primo, I'm like, we're going to bed. Someone's getting fired, I think. Yeah, that sucks, Christian. Yeah, it was late at night, Fistus. Good looking new F-250 right here, let me see. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> That's the best, man. Nice! <laughs> it's so good. Oh, Bill, that's funny as hell, man. <laughs> yes! The old and the new. Now I gotta buy one. Uh, we gotta keep... I have to keep that crappy paint job, don't I? Yeah, we got to. I got to keep the crappy paint job. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I told you to keep the paint job. All right, we got to. I'm. We have to cover up the bare metal. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Keep the color scheme, but update the paint. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, yeah, okay. Improve the paint job, but it's got to be the same scheme. Got it. <laughs> White with orange fuel tanks. That's that's cool. Yeah, I kind of, yeah, I'm kind of going to probably just leave it alone. Detail it. Matte, clear coat, call it good. We'll linseed oil it, Grilani. Needs the EJ logo on it. It has the Route 154 logo on it. Yep. I think it just needs to be cleaned up and have a vinyl wrap done. All right. I mean, the truck's about as straight as it could be in terms of in terms of sheet metal, dude. It's a really nice truck. It is very, very, very straight. You got the new dash, right? I did get a new dash. Yeah, I got a mint one. It has like it has one little bitty tear in it, but it's perfectly made about as good as you can get. Paid like three bucks for it at a junkyard. 
Uh, but yeah, it's a cool truck. I like it. You ever head back? If you ever head back west, let me know. I'd love to do a chill drive across the U.S. Only time I've ever done it is in a time crunch. Got it. Yeah, Savvy. Sorry I didn't stop in St. Louis, dude. I wanted to just get it to Indy so we could meet up with Primo's parents so I could fix the stupid thing. Yeah, Lundbrod, we could do that. Pickups don't drive well. It's a, it's, this is an HD. It'll be all right. You going to work on this one instead of the older Ford or finish the old Ford first? Why not both? Do plenty more auto streams. Tampa Bay got out of the inning. No runs scored. If you get the bases loaded... If you get the bases loaded and, uh, oh, I was on a fly out. Ugh. If you get the bases loaded and don't score any runs, guess what? That ain't, that ain't the other team's fault. Are you sports betting? No, I don't bet on sports, Dev. I watch sports because I enjoy them. I know, har funny concept in this day and age. And I get it. After that much time on the road, the only thing you want to do is get home. Yep, yep. I got an idea. Body swap Freb onto the Tough Enough chassis. <laughs> tough Enough, dude, is a good name. It's sticking. Tough Enough. I want to get it, Jason. I want to get Tough Enough, like, written on the quarters right there. Like, pinstripes, pinstripe text. Like, Tough Enough right there. 154 across Eurasia. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't think so. There was incredible time pressure, understandable. Understandable on this round, so much that there was a signed Bobby Orr photo in the room next to where EJ and Brimo slept that I didn't even think to show him. Ah. Oh, why would why would you say that to me? Now I just need a DMCA free version of the song Toughen Up. If you need one, any vinyl decaling, I have direct access to a printer and a cutter. Okay, <laughs> I might take you up on that. Where did you find such a cool toy? Japan. No, it's not, I didn't go to Japan to get one. It's an idea that, that thing's from Japan. Return to the automaton. Yeah, all right guys, anyway. I'll leave you with this. Heck yeah, man. That truck's been on... Dude, that truck's been across the country. Wow. That's really cool when you think about it like that. Hey, Pythos, you're catching me at the tail end. All right. Regular stream resume.